That's not the problem with me. Can we get the real Andy? I would prefer the real Andy. Oh, let's get the real Max. I'll take off my mask when you take off your mask, brother. Because um, you, uh, who's your who's your new favorite YouTuber, Ian, that wanted to to be on the show with us? Uh, the the Madman. <laughs> the Madman. Mad Movie Man. Let's bring on Max Movies because he scares the living shit out of me. Hold on. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, Mad Max says, uh, "I think you should. Uh, I think you should apologize." Right? I'm sitting here in a goddamn. Thing. Torn down pool house. I don't even know pool house is torn apart. Okay, it's torn apart because I'm remodeling on my seventy dollars webcam. Christ. Okay, I'm no better than you. I'm sorry, but don't you guys find it kind of creepy that a forty year old man is to me it's funny. A he's, a, he's a YouTuber. He wears a Doctor Doom mask. mask. Interview Tommy in all of their videos because they're afraid to show their pale white face. I don't know. That seems a little suspicious to me. Yeah, yeah. Let me get Max in here. Oh no, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no. Oh no. I I should never have allowed it to happen. I'm already I'm already regretting it. No, what? especially some dude just wearing a mask all the time screaming at the camera. Mad Max is here. Never thought I'd see you in my chat. Great costume, drunk. Thanks. What a, what a uh, Rich, oh, long okay. time. Please take off your shirt and show us some saggy melon. Yeah! And please, with some Finnegan Fox enthusiasm, yes! show us on the floor. Oh, God, I see what you did there. You son. I like saggy melon. Oh, about the, there the, you the, go. The, but, like, it just. Uh -oh. uh, hard at work. Oh, oh, this is hard at you work. You messed what? up Where's now. Where's your boss? Saggy, hold on. Go get your, go get your boss. Work. Go get I'm your boss. I'm at work. You I'm caught. I need Why your clout. I need your clout. Oh wow! Ooh. I'm at work. You see, I'm, I'm working. I'm trying to get end ready. You get ready for the live now. While I'm get, trying to get my. There's a reason out. for that. Uh, get ready for the cancellation live oh, in yeah, person. Get ready for the cancellation. Yeah, you are about to get canceled. <laughs> you know, you already know. Mom. Yes, honey. You happened again. Did you have your mask on? I always have my mask on. I'm not I, I already hold. I, I was watching your other stream. You're like, I hope someone shows up. I'm. I'm. Listen. I'm backing down. I. I don't have. I. I. I, I can't. I can't take the melons. This. You don't want this. You don't want no, this. No. You don't. Want I don't know. Effects. You don't. I know. You're stocking shelves. Oh wow. That's you're smoke. You do not want to mess with. See, the accusations were false. Someone said you're doing a lot of text in network. And she's stalking. Do I text that work get right? Because this is my job. No, I'm no, I. Job while we're talking. So you know what the yeah, you know what, multitasking. You know, you know, you know what the you know what the reality is? She was texting, watching YouTube, and then she's like, "I'm going live. I better stock shelves." Cool guess Tommy Tellariso. 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 Oh my God! All right, restart the stream. Restart. Restart. Uh, that's nice chat with you. I'll see you guys later. Uh, uh, Jeremy, uh, I, knew, I just reached 5K. Well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, it really doesn't matter. While you're here, uh, if you'd like to consider memberships, it's uh, only 99 cents. Uh, <laughs> rip away, my friend. Rip away. Because, 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 man. Uh, movie Madness Entertainment. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. We got 21 viewers. I am yeah. I am on. Woo! I'm on time. I ate a popsicle with my intro. That really gives me time to look at the comments. Um, you know, get ready. I'm Eat sorry. I was doing do it. Well, I had to cool down. You ever have those red, white, and blue pops? The the bomb pops or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I've had oh, those, they're yeah. so good. They they really cool you down. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, the title of this video is not clickbait. And I, I, I listen. I track. I, I track. I track down RJ. Actually, I have a lot of things to say today that might surprise you. Listen, I, uh, Enosh, you could pop in. You could pop in. Uh, yeah, and uh, Tony, if you want to pop in too. I'm so offering sure. the opposition on this. I feel like I don't know. I don't know where this is going. I'm just. I'm just here. Oh, okay. Well, I tracked down RJ. I, I had to get him because I haven't, you know, he's been busy. Family stuff. 
Yeah, um, I was. I'm streaming tomorrow, though, guys. Don't worry. I'm. I'm going back. Don't worry. I didn't, right. I didn't quit. I'm just you know busy. I'll be back tomorrow, though. All right. God damn it! I knew this was going to happen. I saw your your husband. <laughs> chat. You got what you. No, congrats, Enosh. <laughs> yes, and he was talking to you like. Uh, yeah, he was very talkative. Oh boy! Now, now we got to do. You know what? You're that friend, Enosh. You're that friend that I still love you. You're like my brother, but you're like I got a shiny new toy, and then Enosh was like, "Well, look a look, look, look a, lo a load of these toys. Look what I got over here." I'm like, "Damn it, Enosh! You're 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 a great pal. You're a great friend, but you're it's you know we get I get kind of jelly. Stop Enosh. humble bragging is what he's saying. I guess I don't know. And uh, and, I, and, and and I'm in a recovering addict, so I got to stay away from the. I'm got to visit the lounge, but I I can't buy anything. Um, hey, Anthony. Oh, I did get one thing though. I did purchase one thing. What'd you get? It's a renewed PlayStation Mini. Oh, okay. Um. Oh wow. Random guy get the two hundred. Well, I got twenty bucks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's been he's been going. Get, get Tony crazy. in there. Okay, let's. Uh, but I actually, um, yes. Before we get to the reaction, uh, I listen. I I have seen. Want, like, where are we going with this? this is where well, I I, I want to send this to Tony too, uh, in case Tony wants to pop in here. Because I also want to give uh, respect to uh, Young Ripa. Congrats, yeah, didn't you reach like a million dollars? Uh, 750,000 is last time I checked. I think they hit a million. Oh, they hit a million? Hey! I think so. Listen, if you have... Cons now, some of it just... A lot of it's a little political angle, like, we're going to show you Hollywood. But that's not all of it. There's people generally interested. Uh, did, you watch I, the, I am not... the, did you watch the trailer where they talked well, about what the first book is? Yeah, we could watch that, too. I didn't, you know... Uh, Anthony Beltry is here. Hey, Anthony. How's it going? Anthony, are you there, bro? Hi, hi. I'm sorry. What's up? <laughs> um, let me let me see if I could find. I got too much shit up. Um, we're gonna watch Nerdrotic's video, and listen, they are very extremely hyperbolic on a lot of stuff. But and I I do not. It, listen, I also viewer discretion advised. If you love Thor: Love and Thunder, don't let anyone steal your love of that movie. And Blood even though I'm going to be I'm going to be critical of it, um, I don't hate it. It's not a dumpster fire. What's but, there to be uh, critical about? Though is my question. Like, it, like here's the thing, right? People are acting like this movie like sp like spit on them. It like did, no, like, no, know, no, like, no, no, no. I would say people are acting like this is like the most unholy abomination ever. It's like it's really no, no, bad. no. It's just an average movie to me, an average Marvel movie. Um, you know there are, but I I agree with a lot of his critiques here. I got to be real. I gotta be. I gotta be real. Are That's pigs what I do flying? Is the sky blue now? No, I mean it, a lot of the jokes, you know, stuff that annoys him was annoying me there. Um, you know, Korg was cool at first. Now it's kind of like, eh, Korg. Well, that's you know? Taika Waititi for you. I mean, he likes play himself in every movie. So it's it's well, it's like the jo the the joke a comedian that tells the same joke over and over again, like. Taika Waititi is very like what we do in the shadows. I love season one, season two. When it gets to season three, I'm like, okay, it's the same type of humor over and over. And uh, yeah, I he's like. Taika he's Waititi. a James Gunn. He's a James Gunn clone. That's what he is. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, he's yeah. got his own style. Um, although Taika doesn't make fucking jokes. You know, you know what I? You time. know what I actually think that he That's is dope. not going to be a good sequel guy. I think he does good properties. He injects some energy into it, and then I think he should maybe move on. Honestly, in my opinion, of my critique of Taika, is he like just like what, what we do in the what we do in the shadows was really good at first. Now it's kind of stale to me, me personally, subjectively. Um, he he injects some HBO energy, Max? gives some new new ideas, and then honestly, I think he should move on. Give it to someone else. Someone else could have ran with the template. Is that is that HBO Max? Hey Jade, what? That's what we the do in the shadows? That's Hulu. 
I've seen, I've never watched there's that. there's also a, a similar show on HBO Max that my wife was watching about like pirates or something. I don't know. Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, that's another type of thing. Yeah. Well, he oh, has really? a deal. He, oh, he, has really a, good. he has a deal with Warner Brothers and I'm more with Warner Brothers and Disney. So yeah, I mean, I'm but sorry. but I do have to say, uh, I'm not gonna mock Young Rippa for being, you know. Also, he did things very different than Comicsgate. He has a site, and he says it's the the comics like well, ready he's to trying print. to be more professional, which I, yes. I think that's good. Yes, I think it's good that he's trying to be more for the same price point for the same price point that you get in on Comicsgate comics. And I think EVS and them should learn a thing. The only other thing you can do. Thank you. That pirate show is called Our Flag Means Death. Oh, yes. I've heard it's amazing. I've heard it's a really good show. So Yes. Hey, we got 30 people watching. Can you remember to smash the like button? But I I also don't want to get to a point where we can't criticize anything either. Because it's just like, it's like being critical and not in loving things is almost getting like politics. Like, you can't even say you don't like anything anymore. I want the MCU to see. here's Here's another thing. I want to like things. I want to love things. Like there was a time in my YouTube career where I used to trash things that I didn't like. And then it, it started to hurt my heart inside. Like, so you love the current DC movies? N- no, but I want to like them. Like, <laughs> like I really want to love Thor, Love and Thunder. And maybe I'll watch it a second. When it comes but, on Disney but, Plus yeah, we hands. have to be, we have to be a, like, here's the thing too. It's okay to just think something's okay. You don't yeah, have to love not, everything. It's not either. dumpster. No, no, no. Yeah, uh, it's okay, okay it's is okay like to average. Not love everything. Yeah, yeah, okay is not that bad. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay Jay, like, exactly. Okay. That's exactly it. I think Taika injects some energy, enthusiasm. He's probably really fun for. Well, the that's the whole thing, though. Humor is always going to be subjective. But I don't like, think he may not find funny. Other people will. I don't think he's a sequeled guy. I think once he comes in, brings his energy. Once he does a follow up, it's going to be more of the same. And honestly, I would pref- not that I want him taken. If he really wants to do Thor five, and I mean honestly, he's going to get the chance to do it if he wants to because the box. That's the one thing they're completely wrong with. Where they says Thor and Love from the was a disaster. It's not a disaster at the box. Yeah, office. I don't know where it's this idea is coming. It's, in the, the, it's suddenly a flop. Like it's, it's not the, a flop. It's the best Thor weekend box ever. office for Thor, and comp- comparing it to. Uh, Doctor Strange 2 is not fair because well, not Doctor fair, Strange not, 2 has a multiverse away. aspect right after but no Doctor knows. Strange made 950 million. Only hey, 50 Tony, million how's shorts going? of a billion. Hey, so, what's up, guys? Come on. That's uh, not I actually either. agree with Nerdrotic today. Ooh. Uh, that's that's never a good thing, by the way. You should never open your stream up with, I agree with No, Nerd I was Rotic. watching the review, and I'm like, I got to be fair and objective and, and show people. And I, I actually think he was on point on his on his review. And then I want to give props to Ripa. Even though we could get – don't censor your criticism of uh, Young Ripa's comic, Tony. But uh, RJ said over a million. I think it's about to hit a million, yeah. <laughs> That should be applauded. Do I think it's going to... No. We're there. We're like, you got the RK out, uh, outhouses out there saying, oh, Marvel and DC should be... They're not scared at all of this. No. Because it's really, it's really outhouse? just... Well, that's what someone said on the stream the other day, and I kind of <laughs> like it. RK outhouse, um, where they... It's not going to compete with Marvel and DC because the, the cost for the consumer is just not there. And I really doubt... That any of these uh, these online comic creators are really gonna st- go the next level and bring down costs for the consumer. It's always going to be direct to consumer. Shipping is going to be included. Um, now, if anyone shipping's not included, they got to pay shipping. Well, t- they they also have to pay shipping on top of the cost, but like boxing it, the box, you know. Whereas you could just go to a comic store and it's loose and just get it. I'm gonna go to a comic store and then buy anything. Yeah, that but that that would be it. that would be the next level to to get a comic store or something. But I, I'm gonna say it though. I don't think this is something to be applauded. This isn't a revolutionary comic brand. No, it's not revolutionary. No. Uh, th- what this is, it's a good the, com- I, It's a good looking comic. I don't know about all that. It's it's a decent looking comic. Yeah, uh, but it's not really a comic. It's more of a YouTuber. Oh, Will Austin, yes. It's a YouTuber merch that just happens to be a comic. 
Because that's what people are buying. They're buying into the Ripa brand. They're not really buying into okay. the comic. Yeah, that's yeah. You're. I think you're on to something there. It, it it is more to do with the personality uh, of the social media influencer. That's what you're really buying, not the quality. If it was just on the quality of the comic its own, just like EVS and the, they, a lot of it is you're buying. It so how much is this comic? Thirty dollars. It's like 30. forty-two with. Uh, how, to be handled. No, well, how how how, how much is a hundred-page comic in the store? Oh, get out of here with that! Like that many pages. Well, first off, we don't know what the pages are, right? Mm -hmm. So saying a hundred pages is not really fair because until we can see like how many splash pages, you mm -hmm. know, is there a table of contents page? Is there ads mm -hmm. in there? What's going on in the actual pages? It's really hard to say, right? I would assume no ads. Yeah. I would assume uh, there, there could be a stuff. page that says, "Hey, Ripperverse, fucking make sure you." you get oh yeah, the issue. yeah. There, there, there is a there is a couple pages that goes into his like mission Ethos statement and all of comics. That stuff. Yeah, yeah. The DC does it too. They put yeah. Ads Dark Horse was more. The, the, I would love to. Yes, yeah, sweet and tender hooligan. We could even talk about the Amico a little bit too, if you want. Oh my but, but, god! But I thought since we're talking goes. about the the uh, the comic, uh, was it Isam? I search. Uh, yeah, I don't like the name of the character. Kind of like it doesn't. Well, doesn't I, I hate the name of the character. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you saw the tweet that I put out earlier. I deleted. Wait, it. Isan or Isam? Isam. I assume, what the? What is that? That's, it's not. It's not catchy at all. That's not good. Well, I, I, I don't know if it stands for something, but I do right, know right, that, right. that that name, that last name, is derived from an Irish slaveholder. Oh, way back mm, when. Oh, wow. If you look it up in, in, wow. in the genealogy of the name in the African American community, that's where that name comes from. Hmm. So, you know, maybe look up things before you uh, commit to a name. Possibly. Yeah, I just. And the, the other thing, I did watch part of the pitch video. The other thing was like saying, what did he call them? People that have superhuman powers, they call them something different. It's just like, it's just like everything else. Uh, he, it's, he, he can't use metahuman, so he just made right, up a new word. Right. It's just like, okay, but you're basically doing the same thing. It's just. Also, the, the whole storyline is a trope. It's the whole uh, warrior stop fighting, go on a farm trope. And now he's being pulled back into the fight. Yeah. Th that's the whole story of the comic. Well, it sounds yeah. like a typical comic that Marvel DC will make. Uh, I don't know. R RJ, did you have any outer counterpoints on Tony's claims there? Do you, do you think, what do you think? Did you pay attention to it? Um, I mean, listen, I mean, criticism is valid. I mean, I don't think anyone's trying to come at this like from a negative place just to crap on it. I mean, I'll be honest. I thought it was fine. I, I watched the reveal trailer. I thought it looked fine. It looked interesting. I may decide to, to read it. I mean, it's a 97 page book. The art looks really good. Honestly, I like the art. Um, mm -hmm. They actually have some former DC and Marvel people working on it, which I find to be interesting. Right. So, I mean, that's compelling a little bit. Um, the story, maybe it's, I mean, it, 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 I mean, listen, there's only so many things you can do in the superhero genre that hasn't already been done before in some capacity. So is it a little generic? Yeah, but I have to see it in the context besides just like the brief synopsis that doesn't really get into the nitty gritty details, you know? So. Mm -hmm. Ask Tony what his favorite. Well, we'll think about that. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, please do not talk about the Miko. <laughs> well, Han well, Hans is bringing up an interesting point, though, about the stealing solo thing. Well, that, that's Hans, but he, he is being more professional than they are. Like, he, as far as I know, as far as we know, like, his site looks slick, although it just looks like Indiegogo, really. But have you noticed uh, that they actually have, like, a video logo now? They have, like, a branding, they're making yeah. t-shirts and merchandise now? Like, right, they're right. treating this very So how many people does he have working with? No, this isn't, this isn't, I, I doubt this is going to go in the Stealing Solos type territory. Because he seems like he at least has the first comic. Now to say rip a verse, he doesn't seem like he has a second comic ready to go though. Who knows? Well, I feel like we see how the first comic goes first. Then they're gonna make like all, like they have like the story planned out and they have like everything worked out. Just about seeing if this is gonna be financially successful. Yeah. First, well, then it, it'll be financially it. successful. I mean, come on, let's not mince words. He, he's gonna get people to give him just based on who he is. Oh yeah, especially without having to do the Indiegogo in uh, Kickstarter cut. But honestly, but, he wants to, he wants the cut of all the comics. He you know 
He yeah, probably we'll, would offer better terms than Indiegogo, and honestly, EVS and all those other ones will probably go on this site. Well, well, if I can say a few things, right? Yeah. First off, I, I watched the trailer. I watched his little reveal, right? And he was bragging about paying more than Marvel and DC, <laughs> right? To to his artists, he's like, I'm paying them more than what they were getting. They're getting better deals, and I and I think to myself, as a customer, right? I, I don't give a shit. I don't want you to pay more. I want you to pay less, right? Because the less you pay, the less I have to pay, right? You're you're gonna put the yeah. cost up on me, so that's not a brag that you should be like. Uh, I see your point there, but I kind of respect that. Remember when Tommy was bragging? Of... Remember when Tommy yeah. was bragging about how much he was paying people, and then they went out of business, right? Honestly, can I be real with you to tie this into the Amico? Uh, this seems more thought out than the Amico. <laughs> Yeah, well, it seems thought out, but what I'm saying is when you start bragging about paying people so much and you are, no, no, no. if but, he's actually paying them But so there much, are a lot of artists severely underpaid in the industry is what he's, you know. I, I, I can't say, right, because yeah. it is subjective. From what I've heard, from what I've heard. Great artists. Yeah, sure. But well, there's a lot going is, on in the industry in terms of, I mean, not just like comic book artists, but I know Max, you want to talk about VFX artists yeah. too, thing yeah. going on right now too. So, but, but I'm saying you're a startup company, right? As a startup company, you should not be bragging about paying more than the two biggest competitors in the space. Th hmm. That's completely ass backwards, right? You, you yeah. should be scraping well, the mark, and the market that the market that he's uh, most that his biggest market is probably comic skate and indie comic scene, and they are these are th these are talking points that they actually like, and they're willing to pay this price point, which I think is asinine. I think they should demand. To be fair, costs. Devin is kind of right too. I mean, like to be fair, given the current state of the economy, I mean, but but it's not. I'm paying people well. He's bragging about paying more than. Well, he brags a lot, yeah. Well, he, that still means that he's paying more than the competition, though, right? So, I mean, so how, I guess that, how much do the comic book artists get paid doing comics? Wouldn't, it, wouldn't, it, wouldn't that be well? Here, here's a, here's the thing, though, uh, Tony. Wait, what if, what if it pay? actually does good, and then the second comic is also good, and then people in the Marvel and DC like there's an alternative in, in competition? A lot of them, uh, I don't. Think and then, else. and then, Max. Then, what if Marvel and DC? Offer better contracts, and now Ripa has priced himself out of the market because, yeah, by trying to brag and be super competitive on price, he's no longer going to be able to afford them as Marvel and DC adjust their price to meet the Ripa price. Mm -hmm. That's true. See, well, I, I'm just talking from a business perspective. I know people don't like that, they're like, no, pay everybody equal, blah blah blah, feel good feelings, right? But we're talking from a business standpoint here. All, honestly, with these price points, until they bring them down, I think he can afford to to brag about that and pay better costs because of the high price point. Um, I would have just kept that to myself, to be honest. No, no, I know. I, I would meet I think me and you probably, if we were to do something, we'd probably try to bring the cost down to the consumer level. While still, you know, maintaining good, because that that's my main issue with all these is uh, not consumer friendly. Um, they haven't done anything to try to improve anything for the consumer since it started. Comicsgate, it's basically the same thing: campaign, 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 pay, 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 pay. We'll get, we'll, we'll finish when we get to it. Yeah, and uh, okay, so so I can we can get to the actual story, right? Like I said, it's derivative of the whole trope of the soldier who's done fighting and, and he's off to a farm and, and gets dragged back in. Then he adds a little bit of Luke Cage in there. I know he's a big Luke Cage fan, but he adds the whole Luke Cage, you know, growing up with somebody who turns into a crime boss. Mm -hmm. That's part of the storyline. Yeah. Um, so, so I mean, already you're, you're like... You're he's borrowing a lot. Borrowing. Yes. Then it's based in Texas, which is uh, where Rip is from. Yeah, and it kind of seems like there might be a self insert into the comic. Oh yes, that you're very boom. Drop the mic. Yes, they complain about self inserts from left leaning comic book creators. Exactly. So again, you so know, very right, critical. I'm just basing it on what I'm seeing. Maybe I'm yes. gonna read the comic and it's gonna be completely different. But just based on what we're seeing and what we're being told, it does although the character doesn't have like the beard game like Ripa does, uh, you know. Maybe maybe he'll grow it when he gets more you know gets more powerful. I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe maybe he's smart enough not to give him the look, but just give him the background. Mm, all right. Well, let's watch this video too to see if uh, if we agree or disagree. 
I kind of, I think he actually did a good review for once. And, you know, some of the jokes were like, okay, but some of them, you know, I, I kind of agree. Yeah, cool. I mean, I, I highly doubt that's really that good. We'll see, though. Okay. All right, we'll see. Nerdorotic.com. Uh, Female Thor. Line. Then the big question Christ. is, was it? The no, I don't like. I don't like that. Come on! No, 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 not the, not this We're part. The bait and switch. It actually was. I wish it was more bait and switchy. Well, we Jane also wasn't in the movie nearly as much. We're, right, right, we're, getting, we're getting to spoilers here, so uh, oh, put up like a little banner. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yes, yeah, Thor: Love and Thunders. Bad start. <laughs> uh, oh, really? He, he's gonna play Isum. That that name is just that that's my biggest criticism is the his whole logo for Ripperverse and the name of the character just does not roll and I think he's got a cross on his belt I'm not against that or anything but I is that a cross on his belt we'll look at that later uh, I I'm not against we'll religion look at or anything that but before it, we finish this review be anticipated the answer is kind of Thor Dumb and Dumber does focus <laughs> on Thor just not one that you'll recognize that's where the real oh, is right there, which is this go go back a little Thor, oh boy 16 seconds in. okay no no right there, there? that look on is Thor, from the comics not... that, that's oh, his really? Thunderstrike look okay so I mean they're giving you little Easter eggs like that throughout the whole movie well also, I didn't he, know just, he also he admitted that he, he was perpetuating nonsense saying it actually wasn't a bait and switch it's just that it did focus on the male character but just not the <laughs> way we would have liked I actually wanted more bait and switch I wanted more Mighty Thor I really wanted to you know she looked great I was actually really anticipating Mighty Thor and I was a little slightly dead down one that you'll recognize that's where the real bait and switch is this film is the gayest marvel film yet according to natalie portman is it now i i can't you know i i get annoyed with them saying that but they kind of set themselves ah. up in this interview they kind of <laughs> set themselves i don't care listen i don't talk like this but you know uh the yeah, way listen they ask the, the reporter asked the question she answered period that's it yeah say that this is the gayest movie ever made in the MCU? Um, I love that reading of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it's a film made by a seven-year-old according to Chris Hemsworth. Now all film and television require that... varying oh degrees of suspension <laughs> of disbelief. He's doing that for jokes. He's doing that for jokes. Yeah, it's but it's not funny. funny though, but it's like when he said that, he meant that with the zaniness and I, energy not I that's know. actually something the seven-year-old would write. Yeah, not literal. Yeah. Like the energy of the seven year old yeah. and the fun and the fun, not like the literal it was made by a seven year old. You wouldn't want to watch a movie that was made by a seven year old. Uh <laughs> so you, you guys do not agree with me on the review so far. Oh, that's that's cool. No problem. Leave. It's a lot easier with dramas. That's why you see a lot more of them. They're cheaper to make. And quite frankly, that's why I find most of them boring and vapid. If I want drama, I'll just remember something from my life. That's why I gravitate towards superhero films, fantasy, science fiction. I want to be taken away. Now, particularly with those genres, you need to multiply that suspension of disbelief by about 100 to 1,000. And it works like with Daredevil or the Captain America trilogy or Spider-Man 2 or Superman the movie, Superman 2, the Donner Cut, The Crow. Oh, you had dude. that in the beginning phases of... What's that, Anthony? Spider-Man 2 is dog shit. Oh, oh, come on. It's not. Come on. Come what on. What is wrong with the Anthony? Why would you, you say that? You gotta it every time. I don't know. Tony, did you like Spider-Man 2? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I don't I don't know how you could say it. It's a good movie. Where's your proof, it's Anthony? Just, I just like... I, it's I, I like the movie. I'm just it. It's like, it's like when I just don't like Toby Coltis. Toby stands... Oh, Coltis. so you're, not, you're saying that just to trigger Toby Coltis. Well, he doesn't come yes. around here anymore. <laughs> no, he does. Well, no, burn oh, no, account. He no, okay. He a burn account. The Marvel Cinematic Universe, particularly prior to Disney taking over, unfortunately, we are firmly planted in Disney Marvel's MCU phase bore. Now, a lot of people out oh, there, including God, yours truly, have so argued bad. that. <laughs> people like MCU that is phase bore. No, now this part He's is got shitty delivery. Well, the, 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 he's rewarded on the internet. 
for uh, it's like just like high school humor. I, I, I you, love you. You know what a sideshow is, Max? A sideshow. Yeah, you know, sideshow geeks they, they bite the heads off of chickens and they get rewarded with people clapping. Doesn't mean it's a good show. Yeah. Same thing. Also, right here. Well, that's why a lot, that's try, a lot of like, have we noticed like this revisionist history that where they're saying once Disney took over Marvel, all went downhill. Disney took over Marvel like r- before Avengers. Yeah, it took over in 2010. Disney saved Marvel. They're the ones who came up with the whole. Uh... Oh, like, like if Paramount wanted to Marvel, they could. But they did. what? It, like, I didn't hear Disney a single word you said. Yeah, you're breaking up a little said, bit, Anthony. Oh, hello. You hear me? Yeah, that okay. I was like, if Paramount wanted to, they could have bought Marvel at the time, but they didn't. So. Yeah, but if you if you yeah. watch uh, the whole leading up to the Avengers and all that, right? Remember, the Tesseract wasn't going to be uh, a gem. Neither was the staff of Loki. Those were not Infinity yeah. Gems. Disney was the one who was like, hey, turn that shit into Infinity Gems so we can get Thanos out there. Mm. Well, well, they, well the, that the, was the, like the majority, the majority of this yeah. review is, is where they show past the war dialogue with like Odin, and then they get to the current. It's like, yeah. I, All right, I kinda, let's, let's get going then. Let's keep watching. That the MCU phase bore is directionless, but I have to say, I think they've set out and done exactly what they wanted to do. Vandalize all the previous characters so they can bring in the all new, all different Marvel and you're all going to love them because everything. I, I, I disagree with vandalizing oh, right, the other yeah. characters, but they are they are bringing in more characters. Yeah, they're bringing they in new don't... characters because they need to. Like, no, no, no. But the franchise they... is fresh and interesting by but, introducing new characters. Like, I was, I'm also like, like I've consistently said on the stream, I'm like disappointed that there's not Bates, which like, I love Thor, but I kind of want to get Mighty Thor. I kind of want to have more stories with her. I know, I know, sir, you know, you see more might, story. might not last that long in, uh, in the comics because of the, the illness and everything, but it just seems like this big introduction, really cool introduction. Well, she's not gone, Max. Well, she's not gone. No, she. Look, well, I'll, I'll pull it up in a second. But keep talking. Okay. Well, yeah, she could come back, I guess, from Valhalla. Um, Valhalla? Should, should I spoil it for you, Max? Well, yeah, you can later. Oh. Okay. Well, the mantle, right? Right? No. I guess the best non-spoiler description for Thor: Love and Thunder will be what I put up on Twitter. The Disney Marvel content was an absolute product that he went to consume. <laughs> yeah, he, like literally, there's a video of him in the car talking. Like, dude, you like, hold on. This is what I have an issue with. Okay, this guy is constantly about boycott Disney, don't support Disney. I pirate all of my Disney stuff. I don't want to give. Well, at least money. he paid. Well, at least he but, paid for it this time. But he actually went to the theater, seemingly unless, paid unless, for it, just to unless complain one about of those it. Ner- when I knew he, fans let him sneak in or something. My point being, though, is that. He willingly sat and went to a movie theater to waste two hour, two and a half hours of his life to watch a movie he knew he was going to hate. I'm going to push back on RJ here for a second. Yeah. I think that him going to the theater to watch the movie, regardless of the outcome, is the optimal thing, right? We want the people that are complaining to at least yeah. have seen the product that they're right. complaining this about, is a, right? This is an improvement. They actually paid for it and they actually saw I it. Would, I would agree with that in principle, Tony, the... the the thing is, though, is I'm pointing out that he's being hypocritical because he's telling his audience to boycott Disney products and Disney films. Yeah, but he has to see it in order to tell you why he believes you should boycott it, right? Yeah, I guess, but I still think it's hypocritical. I thought I thought he said he pirates a movie every. He day. does. He does. Typically. So he does. how are you paying to see? It? No, that's no, no. This is an no. improvement. He actually paid see, for product. No. This, there I probably was no pirate version out yet, so he just said fucking yeah. and, and, and bit the bullet. He's like, I, have, I guess I gotta go. Well, yeah. he has to talk about it on Friday night. He cannot. They can. Friday night tights does not exist without Disney Marvel. Disney and Marvel. It's a kind the of show does not exist. I guess. I guess. The show does not exist. They're called Friday night tights. Yeah, yeah. the Friday night tights are like the are like parasitical parasites that bite the ass of Disney and feed on their blood. Yeah. Damn can't wait for next Jesus. Disney Marvel product. So the question is, does Thor Love and Blunder push the Thor character forward while introducing us to Matt new Jarvis and interesting characters? No, it does the opposite. It deconstructs Thor. No, this, is, this, is where I, this is where I kind of agree with him, this part of the video. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, hold on. 
this is the part of the review I actually liked. And I was like, oh, we'll watch this. I don't think we're going to watch the whole review, but two, two to four minutes, I actually agree with this. Deconstructs the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the far superior one, the one that was put together by Paramount and not Disney. And of course, it introduces us to more contrived, vapid, derivative characters wait, wait, like wait, female wait, Thor wait, 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 and wait, wait. Kang okay. Valkyrie. I guess that's a really long... What? I, I have an issue already. Why is he giving... <laughs> Why is he crediting all of the success of the MCU to Paramount? Because they it, were it, only it, involved it, it, in like two or three. Right, movies. he he is he's he's like, glossing he does over realize that, that it's all the same people for a narrative involved, right? for, for for a narrative. Yes, to, to I'm saying, try it's to all say the like, same. He, something Kevin changed. Feige. There's a new villain. He's creating a villain too. He's writing a villain. Disney is but, a villain. But it makes no sense though, because anybody who knows anything knows that it's always been the same people working on these movies. Like a couple, Mostly, like obviously, yeah. No, well, it is. It's Kevin Feige. It's Louis Desposito. It's Victoria Alonso. It's Nate Moore. Like these people who've been around since the beginning oh, of yeah. the studio's inception. But the people that watch Nerdronic are just consumers of his product. They don't actually think or, or investigate anything. If he says a thing, they just believe what he says. Because Craig and Ron, didn't they all love Marvel uh, until after Endgame? They all loved Marvel. They said, "Oh, Kevin yep. Feige showing Kathleen Kennedy how to actually do run studio, yada yada." Oh now yes, Jade, like you're thank you, Jade. Yes, Paramount only distributed for Marvel. Studios. Yeah, they were never involved no creatively. They were right. never involved it, creatively. They were just a distributor. Right, it, but it's it's a it's a narrative to try to say, "Oh, Disney took over." But, it, but it, it's a know? lie, though. That's the thing. Yeah, it's a lie. yeah, yeah. All right. So, what is up with everybody thinking that Thor one and Thor two are masterpieces? I don't think they're masterpieces. I enjoy them more. I, I'm sick. I'm trying to see that shit every day on Twitter. Like, oh, bro, Anthony Sickens. Anthony It's Sick not a masterpiece. I like Thor 1. It, it was a good. It was Thor a 1's good. Movie. Thor 1's good. Thor the yeah, Dark it's World's good. not a good movie. It's, 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 it's about narrative. It's, it's, it's about oh. narrative control. It's the same way that uh, Batman vs. Superman was garbage until the Snyderverse decided that it was good, right? I loved it the whole time. Well, I did, I, I liked it, and then I enjoyed it oh, more. more. I What's the same thing with the prequels? The prequels of Star Wars sucked until the, the until the Disney sequels came out. Then all of a sudden, I the prequels always like the prequels. I'm different though. I always like I like. Most but I'm talking about these guys, I, I, the, I, I, these I like, particular um, individuals that we're discussing: yeah. the the anti like SJWs, the geeks and gamers, the nerd rotic fans, the rippers mm-hmm. of the world. Right? That's their narrative. These things were good. They were bad until something else came along that they didn't like even more. So now that's good in order to shame the other thing, right? You need the villain. So in order to have the villain, you got to create a villain out of something that you... Thor, Thor 2 had some of the best character development for Thor, Loki, and his and Odin, and his mother. Yeah, but everything else was, was a mess. Well, the villain wasn't the best, but it also... Uh, I think the strength of the movie is on the family dynamic. And the audience and, didn't like that. And even though I prefer a better fleshed out villain, a more dynamic villain, I I actually think it worked because of all the great moments we got with uh, Odin, Thor, Loki, and his mom. Yeah, you saw Some that great ending. stuff in there. Um, I, Widow called Thor to a masterpiece. Did she really? No, no I'm, I'm just joking. Hey, remember. Justin. Hello. Oh, God. What did I get myself into? I don't know why you pop in before you look at the topic. <laughs> uh, we're we're talking. We're. I actually agree with Gary on somewhat on his review here. Uh, let me let's get back to it. Oh, so we're talking Wounded about um, same. we're talking about the new Thor movie. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you got horns in the shot. Oh. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, well, I don't think I'll have much to add to the conversation other than uh, Thor is just, I don't, for some reason, I just, I, I th- those movies are just not for me. I don't understand why. Like he, it's like Doctor Strange. Like I tried to watch the movies, but I just can't get into them. I, I like them in other movies as like more supporting characters, but in their own movies, I, just, I find it boring. Maybe it's the writing. Maybe it's something that doesn't click with me, but I don't know. I don't know. That's just my opinion, I guess. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I really, that most I, people disagree. But. Yeah. I really like Thor, the character. I just, you know, I didn't, did, didn't do much for his character besides again, spoiler warning. Uh, but, but what it does with him having, 
by the end of the film, a daughter. I thought that was cool. And that's actually his real daughter. I think that's sweet. I found that oh, out later. Okay. That's that's his so, real daughter. So he has, he's a kid with Lady Thor or something. Okay. No, it's more it's more more complicated. He than more that, like adopted out of the adopted adopted because adopted. Disney's trying to ruin the traditional family by showing you to adopt instead of having children because Disney God, hates kids. God, God damn it, Tony, stop exposing their woke agenda. We're That's shills, remember? <laughs> and the nepotism from hiring his own daughter instead of hiring an actor of color because Disney hates actors of color. Jesus Christ. Oh, Not dude. woke enough. <laughs> They're failing. Uh, well, let's finish this. Okay. Yeah, we barely made and it that Thor and the MCU has become a parody of itself, and that's all thanks to one guy, Kevin Feige. When the oh, I don't agree with that. We meet antagonist God. in product, Wait, go Thor the hear. God Butcher. Who I actually kind of agree with, a, kind of a product type villain. It doesn't doesn't. I I how could you listen, agree with that? I don't see why people were ra raving about Gore. I think his storyline was cool. I think there was a good execution there. And then he gets later on the review, God, the God, Gore, the God butcher killed one God in this movie. Yeah. They could have used one. him more. I don't disagree one. with that. They could have used him more, but I mean, and like, he, we're acting like it's like horrible. No. And now there's like a track record of like, uh, even though I love Ragnarok, like I always thought Hella, there was, mo there was more to Hella. <laughs> too, like, Hella got uh, sort of shortchanged on the villains. Like, these are some really cool villains. Like, I didn't know about Gore or Hella before the movies. I don't, I don't read a lot of the comics. Maybe I should read more of the comics. But I feel like there were some great villains there that part of it out of this. I, I give more of a pass to Ragnarok because it did so much more with Hulk, you know, Hulk and in introducing Valkyrie. There was a lot of introductions there that we kind of sidetracked to the other planet while Hela's doing her thing. And then you come back to Hela at the end. But I kind of feel shortchanged on these villains, <laughs> villains stories. You know? The hell was that? The, I don't know. Do, do, do you see any point there, Tony or RJ? Um, Like I said, I can understand the complaint that you wish there was more screen time for Gore. That one makes a lot of sense to me, and I can get behind that. But Hella to act like, but well, I like both Hella and Gore. Yeah. I think Gore. I think Gore's interesting in conception. It's just that I wish there was more screen time with him, which is actually a good complaint to have because I wish there was more with that character. Mm -hmm. So it's actually not a bad problem to have where I want more of the villain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree with RJ. That's definitely not a bad problem to have. But you know, see this, and this is the reason why I like to join these streams, even though I don't like I. I just see the thumbnail and the title, and I'm like, okay, you know what? Uh, I have access to the. Link. I'm actually crying. I'm actually crying with the, the clown nose this time. <laughs> well, the You're problem with Hella is the uh, problem with Hella is not much to do, right? Very, uh, very respect respectable in some. Oh, way. here's Brian. I was trying to get this done before Brian finishes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I love his avatar, you know, master of puppets. That's great. Yeah. I know. You, you all salty ass DC. No, I'm not salty. I just want different things out of movies. Like I, I love a great soundtrack too. I love comedy. Stop being salty, Max. I'm just learn to salty. enjoy just learn to just relax and have fun. But I, I, I do feel like also Wait, they, I, you, I, I, I here, here's something else that happens when you criticize these movies. Uh, these are like Star Trek to me. These are like Star Wars, like Marvel. These are like our generation Star Wars. And I do, I don't want to be a gatekeeper, but I also put them on a higher level than other people. Like some people are like, you're criticizing a, a superhero movie. Do you know what this is? But I do. I think some of the superhero genre movies have been really great, amazing cinema on level Star Wars. So... When I think of some properties like that, I'm going to be more critical of something I love, just like any Star Wars, and I want them to be good. But I, I, get, I, get, I get I get I get frustrated yeah. Yeah. with like, oh, you're criticizing it like a kids movie. Yes, I'm okay with jokes and stuff, and cool. I'm glad everyone like it. And ultimately, this is going to be extremely profitable to Marvel. I just enjoy I I personally enjoy uh, the the characters take it a little more seriously like there, there's there's things in this movie that just annoy the hell out of me like uh when they're in 
where when they're in Zeus and there's this weird king there with like cartoon eyes or oh there's like, like the like the, the, yeah, the, the, the there, dumpling god that was funny. the dump like, that was there's cute. like or, or there's cute. like or what's his name the uh, the son of the guy that's the gatekeeper he 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 controls the rainbow bridge his head's oh, just Heimdall floating Sun. in the air yeah just floating it just looks back just looks there's no. Okay, yeah, there was definitely. It just seems like, like cut and the movie. Paste when it was really funny, when it was really funny to me, like yeah. I thought the movie was just okay. But the yeah. more people are shitting on it, complaining about it, the more I retroactively like it. Because I'm just like y'all. Well, are no, so I'm not. I'm not shitting on it. Just no, I know. I'm just saying like. It oh, is hey, do you like? Do you like to be that under good underdog or something? <laughs> no, not that I'm like the underdog. I'm just like I, I'm just like. I liked it. I don't understand. Man. I just don't understand oh. like so much of the hate's coming oh, from. It's like ultimately, the I, I, didn't, I didn't know that there was that much hate for this movie. Oh, there is actually. Of, there's a lot. Well, there's a lot. That makes me that. Well, it's I Twitter. Mean, Twitter. I, Twitter's I, not the real. I have a weird. I have a. I have a weird connection with this because I, you know, as I said on the channel before, I walked out of Thor Ragnarok thirty minutes in, and. Now people are starting to re like. It, apparently, if you like Thor Ragnarok, you might like this. It's like very similar in style. So you I'm never. On I'm, here, Nick, you know, I'm gonna never like gonna. That. I'm <laughs> never. I'm never gonna see uh, the rest of Thor Ragnarok. I I don't care if it's well, the greatest movie of all I time. Got... I'm not gonna see this movie. So like, uh, it's weird because I feel like uh, my my initial reaction has been validated, but maybe it's for the wrong reason. I, I don't. I don't know. I just I'm not a big fan of Taika Waititi style, even though I, I should. I, see, I am. It's just I feel like he's uh, he's got mixed results. Like I I feel ultimately he does he he uh, injects some energy and enthusiasm to a, a property, but then if he stays there, the jokes get stagnant. And I saw people calling Taika Waititi Josh Sweden 2.0. I was like, oh my god, no, he's not. I don't know where well, that's coming from. Let's get to we got like, 60, you know, it's crazy. 63 people watching. Can you smash the hell out of the like button? Uh, Nicotina, if you're gonna talk smack, get your ass on here. Uh, DC, look at look at the Brian, listen, man. I love you. DC uh, don't, don't, let, don't let me don't let me ruin your joy. There's I do not want to ruin other people's joy. Why did wait? Why does this have to be a Marvel versus DC thing? You he know, you're criticizing a old. Marvel movie. He, DC he has thinks, nothing to do with this. He says what, there's uh, why a lot is it of, relevant. There's a why lot of DC, a lot of DC fans, especially Snyder fans that we know a lot of YouTubers. John, uh. just give you context like to say marvel is trash and overrated so uh that's where what? he's that's where you're well, getting this why can't you like both or just be like me oh, and say they're all oh you're, you're and they're all equally dumb <laughs> like <laughs> like seriously it's mm -hmm. it's just like come on no one no one in real life flies off into the sky like and saves the day no, that does not happen that never <laughs> happens in real life Damn. I'm sorry, yeah. guys. I know it's a fantasy, but like, look, it's just they're all silly well. Even even the ways. boat, even the boat with the goats, just looked bad quality to me. The what? The boat with the goats. The goat boat. Flying. The goat boat. Yeah, I was like, come on, this what, looks wait, cheesy. The boat with the goats. This sounds yeah, like some real. Goat 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 I, I don't mind shit. green screen, but not what I'm reminded of it. Like, there's just like that is visual, when... It's just like visual noise to me. Yeah, like, you know no what? Impact. That's a good point. Is that you know there aren't that many great locations to visit. You know that are worth like hey, oh, oh these are look hey look at this empty warehouse. This is where all the Marvel movies were made. This one room, like how unexciting is that? Bradley, you know, like, I don't know about did you that. Boring. It's Bradley, boring. Did you, you can't go and visit these places, which is kind of exciting when you go visit. You like, can because you know where the places is are. Like, I just. For example, I, like that that would take place in New York City. I oh, feel yeah. like I if there's a joke to be had that just like Ryan Johnson, if there's a way to subvert expectations, he will do that ahead of story. I think my personal subjective opinion is Taika will go for the joke ahead of storytelling or quality. And there's just like there's floating the heads, show. animated animated kings with cartoon eyes. Like, you know, yeah, okay, but like hell? it's okay to have like a funny movie though like it's okay it to, like, is that's like taking it that seriously well like, just, it's, okay it's just humor. it's just like context like miss marvel i really enjoy that and they do illustrations there too but i think it's executed better here it's just like 
to me personally just like random bullshit. You know, this joke. is something that like maybe maybe the inner 12 year old in Taika Waititi who's never able to for the longest time make these kind of kinds of movies. Now he has a voice. He's like, OK, all of these all these things that I kind of felt as a kid. Now I can I have the power to insert all these uh, little like jokes that are for like kids really to be like like fart jokes or whatever. You know, I can now insert that in. And it's just like you you have to understand when is a good time to make a joke and when is a good time to, you know what, we could make a joke here. But instead of that, let's make the decision to make a good, as you were saying, Max, a, a story, uh, you know, a, a, like something that, or, that will be a good story like, and not ruin it. And it's with like a, joke, a cheap joke, laugh. It's like joke part do like with the whole theater group. Uh, doing the storylines it just was super hilarious in Rag ragnarok for me now it's just like it was really seemed forced like even when matt damon's in there should we prepare a play of what's happening right now it was like the joke just didn't land for me that's all uh okay but i'm not i don't want to try i want to like this movie maybe i'll like it better when i well, here's, here's, here's the thing here's like the thing two we minutes about the review, to say. by the way what you were about to say, Max, is that you don't want to trash this movie. But but here's the thing. Here's the thing. As long as you're honest, what's wrong with it? No, like, no, no. Because because I I don't. There's 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 an issue online in fandom where, uh, and I think it's part of the, it's part of a result from these channels, uh, Jeremy, and that people are super defensive about their fandom where they think any criticism is more like. Uh, Jeremy or, or Gary. And I'm not going. There, there's somewhere in the middle. There's somewhere in the middle. But it gets to the point where, just like my my good pal Brian, he's like, "You salty fan." I'm like, "No, don't let me love." You know, he's not being Brian's serious. You know, he likes you enough. Yeah, yeah. But 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 no. Look, as long as everyone is being honest, their opinions are their opinions, and that's that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so me... that's that's all that's all I care about is like, are you being genuine about this? Like, well, we or, might not, we might not watch this. Trying, or the alternative is, are you trying to continue to promote a narrative? There is a yeah. conversation to be had yeah. there. I don't know if you want to have that. Uh, no, if I, I if I watch it, it, but no, if I watch this on Disney Plus, IMAX Enhanced, which I hope it is, and I'm loving it, like I did, like Doctor Strange too. I was mixed on it. And then when I watched it in my home, I really I love it now. Sometimes so, a second viewing does yeah. help, uh, you know. And it's sometimes just, when you cool. watch it a second time, it further, you know, just <laughs> just can. Sometimes you hate it more. It's it's more with my pet peeves about the industry as a whole, where I want the industry to challenge itself with great special effects and action. And you know, I kind of I actually kind of enjoy a more serious take sometimes on superhero and some people, it's just not their jam. They would love, they like, and I'm not downplaying it. There's a, there's a huge market for fun comedy you, action com combined with just a lot of fun. Uh, I l listen, that's why I like Zack Snyder. I like a little more serious tone, a little more. If, if there was googly eyes on a character and, in a uh, Zack Snyder property too, with one of the characters, I'm like, eh, I don't know, googly you know, eyes. Like with the, on the on the king in in uh, that scene, I was I was like, oh man, there were the googly float, eyes the float. on a king, like in this movie. What, what, what was what was the king's name again, RJ? The you talking about the uh, the um, it looked like an anime, king, eye. like the, the dumpling. dumpling king, yeah. Taika Waititi put googly eyes on a king. Well, it was like an anime character, like cause it's like a it's like a scene with like a bunch of gods, like it's meant to be a visual feast of just a bunch of weird shit. And then one of them is like an anime looking uh, dumpling that was like a uh, god. Uh, I don't what? see that. Let's not the wrong with that. No, yeah, I, mean, I mean it's just that, no people. People. That's just if it's just subjectively different points of view i that annoys me like even with the even in the boys there's there's something in the boys this season where there's animation and i was a little more forgiving there because it was one character yeah i would hope you wouldn't have issue with that like what the yeah, hell that was, yeah but how even, do you even have an issue was, with that what oh you know what yeah, maybe i don't it's a character that doesn't talk 
So well, 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 maybe maybe that's that's uh, an underlying issue with having uh, all opinion. of these all of these individual creators who want to have their own stamp on these Marvel movies. Some of them are more in line with the Russo well, brothers, and some of them are more you know just their own you know in their own universe. Taika Waititi well, is in is in his own universe based on what you just said there. Well, Hans, and this is exactly sometimes why it I like works, Snyder's. Sometimes it doesn't. Zach, that's exactly why I like Snyder's films. Is they show you all the action, visual masterpiece to me. They slow it down. You see everything. They don't cut away. Whereas, like Thor, he it looks like he's just swinging nothing. It looks like a toy. I know that's part of his strength. That's a lot. Like, boom, boom, slow boom. Mo. You know. That is a lot of slow mo. Thirty percent slow mo. Well, maybe, maybe you that's just had your settings wrong, mm -hmm. and you but had here, here's, speed. Here's the, <laughs> you thought the whole here's movie was. The, <laughs> here's the great thing. I'm going to go full campia, but the great thing is, film is subjective, and there's something for everyone. Uh, so yeah, it's it, is it Helen cop out. Oh, Cop out, yeah. Okay. Why do you think that's a cop out? I'm oh, can scared. we just I'm finish scared. this video? I know we're only like two minutes <laughs> oh in. He was obviously much better and much better yes. looking in the comments, and we conveniently get his entire backstory and motivation oh, oh, in an opening. Wait, wait, did he just show something? <laughs> uh, the 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 reason that they said they changed the look of Gore was because they wanted to avoid the uh, being compared to uh, Voldemort. Yeah, they also said so they could let Christian Bale really? like because... not to act through uh, prosthetics or CGI. They wouldn't and actually have like that. Physical... Let's be real. The other thing, I I I kind of understand that. I don't but get let's the be Voldemort real. Connection. Some of these some of these big name actors do not want to be through prosthetics and stuff. Yeah, so, wait, Christian, I don't think Christian wait a minute, Bale wait a minute. Can you prosthetics. can you go back to what the what the drawing was in the comic? Mm -hmm. Sure, I really it's... like the design. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go, go back to the the the, the comic design, because if you got Voldemort from that, I, I'm no, I, and that's all thanks to confused. one guy, Kevin Feige. Oh, when the film opens, we meet antagonist in product Gore the God Butcher, who was okay, that, obviously that much better and much looks better. like Voldemort. But the original drawing that that looks like the dude from Pirates of the Caribbean. Are you talking about well, Davy Jones? You mean yes. See, I would well, have preferred... that's, another, that's another comparison they probably don't want either, though. I, I actually would have preferred even, like, not even... It doesn't even have to be CG, but, like, uh, heavy practical effects and do a great voice actor for Gore. Yeah, uh, but, uh, you know... Well, I did that work. Terminals, horrible practical effects. <laughs> Who needs yeah. that? When you can just use the computer geeks and... What, wait, what did I say? Notes. I'm on your side here, Brian. But but I think uh, the problem is the image that he used. Wait, who who said who said Thor Ragnar was a perfect movie? The, this image right here no, does look like David Jones. Movie. Okay, I, I Ragnarok is a perfect movie. This image does look like David Jones, but there's another image from the comic that looks closer to Voldemort. Yeah, yeah. I think I understand. They I, I see the nose unique. comparison. He just, they just didn't include the tentacles. Well, I, I I just love. I think this is really menacing, and I, I, honestly, the design besides hey, show, show Bell's the picture more, that I, what? I sent. Okay, I shared the on. screen. Show it. Yeah, that's in the actual Jason Aaron comics. The actual yeah, that that does. Look yeah, like he does Voldemort. look like yeah. God, that does look like here. Voldemort. Yeah, that right. does look like yeah. Yeah, I'll take the apologies. You can hand them out. Yeah, I thought it was. Uh, yeah, I thought it was going to be porn. So thank goodness. Oh no, that's the wow. other tab I shared. Okay. Wait, but you shared the other tab? Whoa, I'll, don't I'll, ultimately before before we get to um the Christian Bale's performance, it's the design I thought could be more dynamic and gore the god butcher only killing one god. And I agree with that. I'm like, it's a letdown. You if you if you if he if he went on a like somewhat of a spree, maybe one or two more. And then you got that big A. It would have made the finale. That made it the R -rated. finale of the movie. Come on, we've seen <laughs> more, we've seen worse in Anthony in, in in Marvel films. With uh, remember when Thanos was taking out Mother Effers? You know Thanos yeah, was hardcore. Was, uh, Even was Hella, there. Hella took out a lot of people. Thanos was like, all right, uh, in order to get to get this stone and 
you know, uh, achieve my is... ultimate goal. I have to kill my own uh, but... basically adopted daughter. Okay, but, cool. But this is this throws is her off a cliff. Awesome. This is where yeah, I agree with. He takes no prisoners. Right he gives yeah. no shits. That yeah. that is that is a villain that that is worthy, you know, of the MCU. Like that that that. But they that changed shows his whole a lot in that moment. They, they didn't character. change his whole backstory. Yeah, and then the movies they didn't change Thanos' whole characterization and backstory. Yes. No, I'm not. I don't want to be a gatekeeper where you can't adapt. But if your ad- adaptation is lacking to me, I want to criticize that. Like I, I you know, if you're going to change the look, make it more dynamic. That's all I'm saying. If you're going to change the look, I just think he kind of still looked like. Uh, he looks Uncle like Fester. Di- uh, some of the different iterations that I've seen, but uh, yeah. you know, just from you know what, I, I don't know. Uh, it just hmm. Let's All right, continue. Well, let's... Better looking in the comics, and we conveniently get his entire backstory and motivation in an opening prologue. That's right. The god Rapu tells Gore and the audience everything he needs to know about the Necro Sword. It can kill gods. So then Gore. Kills a god, and again, spoilers. That's the only one he kills on screen. I agree. Entire- with that. I agree with that. That's that's that. I, that's where I was like, well, yeah, you're right. No, I, I agree. It would have been nice as like a montage sequence of him killing other gods. That would have been interesting. I think PG thirteen better execution. But I mean, uh, like, come, come, they, well, it could be real, Anthony. They could have done that with PG thirteen killed more gods. How, but they could uh, they could some of those they, scenes. Remember, he kills. Um, Peter well, did, he, he, yeah, he or... killed like a bunch of other characters that got cut out. Yes. Oh, really? Why? Why, okay. why would they cut that out then? Uh, according to Taika, they ultimately just didn't think it worked, and they thought it, they could better spend their time doing other things within the movie. Just like they like the movie. They could better already. spend their time doing. Actually, other I would have loved him like to all of Taika Waititi's stupid ass jokes. Well, no, what I'm saying oh. is like the scenes didn't work in the context of the movie that they already had put together, and it felt kind of just like like overkill. Well, why do you want to see them in the deleted scene on Disney? Plus? Actually, they said know. no. You're never going to see those scenes. Uh, well, recently, really? Well, Tiger, you no, you, really? No, 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 no. You're never going to see those scenes because the actors that were cut out, uh, if they released those deleted scenes, they had to pay them a whole bunch of money uh, per their contract. So it's not all about money. Oh, fuck well, them. No, I'm I'm dead serious. Like, look it up. It's actually a contractual thing. They I have to pay like a buttload of money. If if they do another. 10 years like a, like well, Jeff, Jeffrey don't don't anymore. let just they don't let Justin's opinion on Taika Waititi ruin it for you you could eat is like the Taika that's his no, opinion I, like. Jeffrey has been to my streams before he knows he knows <laughs> what what I he knows right. how I feel about some things yeah I, like I, I, I don't think he's saying that from a genuine place if he is please do explain but <laughs> Fire film because the real big, which was with the Guardians of the Galaxy, who are barely in it and really only That's exist fair. to send Thor because on his way. So on movie. product, pro- the Guardians, even if they're only going to be in part of it, um, it was an extreme letdown. Let's well, I mean, they told James Gunn like the, the Guardians are going to be in this movie, not that much because the way they put up in the last movie seems like they're going to at least have some fun. You know, yeah, remember, oh. remember, remember though. Guardians three got delayed because of the whole James Gunn thing and all that, and they yeah, got that everything out of whack, and, which should've never should have happened. happened. And I guarantee you, Guardians three will probably be somewhat of not too much of a different movie, but that could have also impacted a little bit too. I mean, ultimately, like it's like it's fine. Like honestly, like I'm just like they, I was expecting to be in the whole movie. I think it's an unrealistic expectation to think they were going to be in the entire thing. You know? Yeah, I agree. No, I did. Yeah, I was, they got their movie no, coming next year. I was yeah, just, just a couple, just a few, and like next by this time next year we'll have their movie. You know, yeah, so. hold, hold up real quick, Max. Go to go to Will Wallace's comment where he says the Guardians were looking at the screen of distress calls about gods dying. <laughs> yeah, they so, were actually. They were. They oh, did I, showcase mean, I that, missed yeah. that. I missed that. I yeah, that. yeah. They there was multiple. That's why um, Thor went to go visit Sith because Sith was trying to fight to protect a god. Oh, and they I got, forgot. Yeah. I forgot that. Yes. Okay, then my fault, my fault. So, okay, I. Uh, this is why it's cool to have a discussion. I Damn, apologize. I forgot, I forgot about that scene, yes. So that's proof that he was doing, you know, he was doing more than just the first god he killed. He went to go see Sith, and there was, there, there was the aftermath there. Yeah, okay. 
All right, so I, I'd actually take a point away from Gary there because even though they didn't show it, they showed the aftermath, and that's how Sith lost her arm. Her, her, her arms in Valhalla. <laughs> Yeah, protagonist really Thor is finding himself for the eighth or yeah. ninth time in the MCU series. I agree with that. <laughs> finding himself again, you know. And but yeah, you do he's all. But he's experienced he, loss repeatedly. He, he, he doesn't know what a, his purpose it's, is. It's like, a double-edged sword, though, because you have to have some character development too. But it does get extremely repetitive with, for his character. Yeah. Well, they and, took half of his character away in the original Thor movie by removing the Donald Blake. Uh, identity from the thor character that's like half of his characterization right so they had to do other things with it mm -hmm. okay he is playing a completely different character from even ragnarok a bigger idiot as my good friend Mahler pointed out on twitter mm -hmm. just today at time of recording thor love and sunder shares continuity with this what the f happened you've forgotten everything i taught you now when but they the warriors, sh hey. when they show these scenes i love these scenes that they show here and then they go <laughs> While you wait Christ. and be patient, the nine realms laugh at us. The old ways are done. You stand in speeches while us. You're making fun of the Santa. You don't like it? Yeah, I'm making fun of it. I, I, like, I like the intensity. It's a good scene. What are you doing? I yeah, like Thor, I like it. No, I, I'm making fun of it the way he Thor should have I'm a little bit of gravitas there and believe what he's saying. You know, it shouldn't be all jokey all the time. To me, you know, I like I'm the gravitas. I'm making fun of the way he sounds. I'm not making fun of the scene. It's just funny to me. No, I, I really, I, actually, there was all kind of reports because I've been covering, I've been watching movie talk at least for a long time. There's all kind of reports that uh, Anthony Hopkins really was uh, really hard on Hemsworth when they were filming the first Thor, and he said he needs to do better. So he really challenged Hemsworth. You know, and I, I part of that dynamic because Odin is gone and Anthony Hopkins is gone. I miss some of that gravitas and that Odin. Oh, I love Anthony Hopkins. He was a great character um, in those movies. Yeah. What's <laughs> not enough <laughs> to saturate tones and a grounded seriousness of a funeral? Where do I buy that? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. The war one is the most underrated. Yeah. Thor one is amazing. I, it's, yeah, just, I was, it's just that the well, more with Thor two that the audience didn't care about the Thor character and stuff like that. Well, I, I see. So, I like the first two Thor movies. Uh, I don't Jesus dislike Ragnarok Christ, or anything. God, but Lord. Yeah, I but miss, Thor, I, miss, I like a happy medium. That's all. Bro, Thor in the Thor's first movie two. was never exposed to Earth. The Thor that you got now has been to Earth. Has experienced That's true. modern. That's true. Just like Captain America was different in the first Captain America. Then he went that to Earth true. to modern. Yeah day you know got technology learned some things and now he's a different character because he's grew through his experience mm -hmm. that's what thor has done he's grown through his experience you can't keep him the same well, true character movies. development character yeah. Devel yeah right, right right you might not like the way it developed but it did develop no that, that those are all fair points that's where i like like having this panel discussion uh but i it's just some of the stuff i miss about his character though i'm not saying he can't develop and change and grow but I miss, I miss a little bit more of this to me personally. As God uh, fall. You are a vain, greedy, cruel boy. And you are an old man and a fool. I kind of agree with that. <laughs> are they made of rocks? <laughs> that's, okay, that's, that's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That was a good transition. That's why I was like, oh my God, yeah. That was a good trend. I like that. Yeah, like that, that. you got to give it to this editing team there. Because that 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 pit that that fits. Well, in it's there. almost like they're very they're complete different movies to complete different filmmakers and also right, right, very, yes, they're, yes, they're much, yes, very different points of where the characters at. It's not even right, the core character, right? But then it's just like Korg. <laughs> but what is patience? While you wait and be patient, the nine it. realms laugh at us. The old ways are done. You'd stand giving speeches while Asgard falls. You are a vain, greedy. Cool boy! And you are an old man and a fool! And a fool. Hello, made of rocks? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, hello, I'm really, but, but, you, oh but, but you can't dismiss people that it's Taika Waititi. You can't say people are toxic. Taika Waititi humor 
does not land well. Whoa, no, it's, fine. It's, yeah. it's fine if it's not your jam, but like to act like it's like some kind of regression of like the character. Well, to, I mean, some people it is. We can't call them haters. Like some of that irks me. I like Korg, but a little it's a little bit too much Korg. Okay, but here's what I don't understand. Well, that's though. People, what people, people did not like the direction Thor was taking after that's Thor: true. The Dark World that's and Age of Ultron. The, the consumer, Chris, the, Chris, the consumer wanted something different, market, Chris, and yes. Chris Hemsworth wanted yeah. to challenge himself again and do something different because he knew right. that people were not enjoying and his it also has as to much be as the fun others. for people to keep coming back. So they brought, in, so they brought in an yeah. auteur director who was known for his independent films, who brought his own unique style and vision to it. Ragnarok was a huge financial and critical and audience success. So, but now well, people don't like that. So, well, what well, exactly maybe, do you want? Maybe, maybe in this movie, I don't know for sure because I haven't seen it. I never will. Maybe people thought that he went a little overboard. Don't you no. think that's kind of possible? Mm. That's fair. That's a fair criticism. Mm. Yeah, I mean it's possible, but like the same. People what do you, what do you mean like, it's Rat possible? Like, what do you think? I honestly well, think it's about the same level as Ragnarok. Honestly. Well, just, just maybe okay, a just, little more jokes, but it's about it's just about for a bar. Just for instance, RJ, your your commentary about Taika Waititi saying that it just didn't work, like the the scene with um yeah, he like said Peter that, Dinklage or something. Yes, he said so he took that out, the... but he 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 kept in the you know the jokes from Ragnarok. And it seems like all, all the stuff with the theater crew. Well, there how was a lot was of that. that how much was that him, and how much was See, that in, the in my in my subjective opinion? I would have rather seen like the Peter Dinklage and the cameos and some more dramatic stuff than just another joke that's just a part two of the. Well, I would have loved to see Peter and then yeah, then but, but he, well, well, maybe my, those scenes were even more jokey, Max. You're assuming that's true. Dramatic. That's true because there was also I I think there was a scene with. Uh, Goldblum? Malcolm, what's his name? The actor's name. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. So you're right. Malcolm. <laughs> I, I for, Malcolm. Oh my. Uh, but but you're right. I don't know the context there, but I, I I'm I guess I am assuming that he would, and rightfully so because I think the more beats per second with the humor, the better box office. Honestly, I I think people like it. I'm in the minority on this one. I think hardcore fans. Uh, or, or uh, you know, maybe well, a little bit fans more critical. Like anything that Marvel no, no, they may be out. more critical of this than the the MCU casuals just would love this movie. Uh, you know, so That's like, who fun. who is being more critical of this, normies or hardcore? Fans. I, I I mean it's that's also subjective, but I think like the I think the hardcore fans are being a little more critical of this than the others. I don't think so. I think the uh, anti SJWs are being more critical of this. Okay, all right. Define uh, ultimate... anti SJW. W. What's it? Define anti SJW. I don't even know. I don't even know what that means because I, I don't like SJWs. Uh, someone whose whole criticism is based around whether or not something is woke. And that whether or not something is good. Okay. So they folk they focus more on oh it's you know it's the political agenda than what is it really bad? Why? Well, we really we bad watched story, Jeremy right? Griggs's remember we yeah. watched Jeremy Griggs's review quote unquote of uh, the Gina Carano movie and he had nothing. There was like it was so vapid and empty that review because it, it, when there's no SJW stuff to to be upset about, he's got no talking points. It's got nothing. That would be an anti issue. I didn't. I mean, I, I haven't seen Terror on the Prairie, so I don't watch his don't review. Know. You you won't know shit about the movie. I you'll, you'll... I I, I want to see the movie. I do too. No, no. Watch his review. It won't spoil nothing in the movie. Why, just why, because why he doesn't say. His, I, no, I'll, I'll watch. I'll watch his review after I see the movie. You're not. You're not hearing me. Uh, he doesn't say a single thing about the plot. Of the movie in his review of the movie, yeah, he, like basically he goes into like very like zero details. Well, he just, does. Like, yeah, kind of he, he tells you that Gina Carano's in the movie and some other actors in the movie, and there's a plot and there's a story to tell, and they're telling the story they want to tell in the movie about the Gina Carano character that's telling a story. Okay, well, I'll make that judgment once I see the movie, and then I'll watch the review, and then I'll make my judgment from there. That's fair. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, that's how that's how most people should operate. 
you know? Yeah. All right. Let's, let's, I'm not, we're not, we're only going to watch a minute or two more and then we're going to put this to bed here. Cause I, that's, this is about where I got to the review when I stopped watching. <laughs> that is how you make movies. <laughs> That's a good question, Mahler. Unfortunately, I I'll, don't have. I although I would love to hang out with Taika, though he seems like a fun guy to be around. Yeah, it, yeah, he seems like a fun guy. It's just you know, eh. you the know. time to get into the massive power shift that happened right after the co-opting of the Me Too Times Up movement oh, in conjunction the, with the election of Donald Trump, which led Hollywood to completely what? lose its mind, what? followed immediately by certain fortifications due to a this certain part, cut. Max? I didn't see this part of the review. <laughs> what the hell is he going down the I don't know. What, what did he go there? There's what? like no segue to that. What? Wait a second. Did I miss something there? No, it was no segue. He just went straight like, to where that. Did... Right after the co-opting of the Me Too Times Up movement, in conjunction with the what election of Donald Trump, which what led Hollywood to, to completely with... lose its mind. What does this have, have to do with Thor? I have no clue. Hollywood has lost its mind. Aren't you paying oh. attention, Max? Hollywood has lost its mind. Okay. Immediately by certain fortifications due to a certain crisis leading to a certain summer of love, which exacerbated the hysteria leading directly to turning all forms of entertainment into social engineering platforms oh, for content Never and mind. influence. Back to Never female mind. Thor boring and dumb. Now, I'm not going to break down this entire film because you asked it was what an boring anti -SJW and dumb. Was, it was Justin? pretty well. There's it right there. there uh, wait, what? You said, what is an anti-SJW? And I present you exhibit an A. Okay. He lit like he literally he's like going, I'm not gonna get into the plot or any of the actual specifics. I'm just gonna there, say it's woke. Not not just that, but there's literally he he's talking about the pandemic, he's talking about the uh Trumpism, Trumpism, you know, Trump Trump talking about syndrome, the, yeah. the stuff that happened. Which in has Portland. nothing to do with the movie whatsoever. Why the movie? Like I don't why know the why bad. the hell he like got the, into that. Like the, he was the, talking the, about the previous two minutes, he was actually talking about Thor's lacking, he's not killing pods. Uh, and then he was talking about Thor, and then he being... jumped off the deep end and got into like other stuff that was like yeah. no bearing on the actual film. Th this has nothing to do with. I mean, I guess Hollywood's crazy, and that's why they deliver a bad product. But okay, I I don't get it. I I don't like what is what does Trumpism have to do with? It doesn't have anything. He's he's no, that's the point. That's the point. Just, just, just like it. social justice warriors bring in politics where it's not needed in the discussion. He's no, no the one should he's... bring politics where it's right. not needed. If it's right, in right. the so film, he... then bring it up. If it's well, not so in he, the film, then just, don't bring it up. So he has actually anti SJWs have actually become SJWs themselves. You, that's, you fight that's the thing the, you hate so far. The argument. Okay, you become what you hate. So well, he's not, just I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I'm too busy with my own life to, you know, worry about this shit all the time, 24 seven. So God forbid I have a I'm life. I'm not too busy. <laughs> I, I, it, it's not to say that a... anybody here doesn't, but I'm like, I, I there's things that slip by. But I have but a wife. Part of it is what I you have said. a wife. Yeah. Part of it is what you said, but part of it is also in order to rile up his base and get his uh, the narrative, the us versus them, right? That gets engagement. Yeah. yeah. Oh he, yeah, thumbs this shit up. He's he's bringing it up. Hey, we're we're they don't like you because you you're a Republican or you're a Trump supporter or you don't like the the, the riots in Portland, right? That's why they're they're pushing this narrative in the movie to make your kids think that those things are okay. And that's why we gotta fight against them. So give me a thumbs up and watch my video and buy my my product and come shop at my comic book store because that'll stick it to the SJWs. And Tony's not a fan of SJWs either. He's uh. I'm not. No, he's a, he's a little more nuanced. But I, I will call out a grifter regardless of what side of the fence they land on. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're only going to watch, but then we'll cover other movie topics, I promise. Cast, unfortunately, they were wasted standing in front of a volume green screen. Now, I agree staff. with that. I agree with that. The volume, we've all heard right, about the volume. Right. We, we discussed but, that. Yeah, yeah but this least. is this is also part of the pandemic thing, too. Maybe they could only do this at Maybe they can only film. You can't go to a real all. location. Come on. Well, no, it depends You're on where. Fucking Marvel. You're part of Disney. Disney. Justin. Bullshit. To, to keep the movie on track during the pandemic, I don't know what restrictions they were under at the time of filming. Well, that's there why may have been it's reasons. been a lot more green, where it's like enclosed sets, because that way it's like you know it's more controllable of an environment. That was, industry, that that was also an industry. Standard. It was an industry standard. Yeah, that was like protocols had to be put in place to protect actors and stuff, and that's why there's been more of a move to services like the volume and tools like that, because again, enclosed. Um, but e even sets. so, 
if you if it doesn't look good, it doesn't look good. If they were using the volume tech, I don't think Taika Waititi is a director. I'm pretty sure based, based on based on the based on that handles the volume filming well, you know. Well, the uh, real location. Well, that's true. What Brady said. Real locations are expensive to studios. Yeah, but well, they're make, they certainly make cool. enough on these movies that they can still. I, I don't. I it, they once could, you get past, they could, it looks like you're actually you know. there instead of a computer being there. I mean, oh, well, you have all the money in the fucking world. Make like, the technology where I don't know it's where I. I'm not constantly reminded that it's the volume technology. Improve the technology, or don't use. You know. They make way a lot of money on these movies. That but the I, volume I, technology is not something we use in the future. Like it's just, it's I, not that we still gonna use green screens, balloons, and stuff like that. Uh oh. So I didn't um, do this. Yeah. Oh god! I thought we were gonna be done with this by the <laughs> fucking selves. Oh Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Jesus, who are they? Weird. I don't know them. Did you guys have fun? Jesus is canon in the MCU, guys. He was the carpenter god. <laughs> I've seen it. Facts. No. Okay, first off, this movie was amazing. Oh, god. Peak cinema. The best Thor movie. And Thor is my favorite character in the MCU, oh. hands down. I'm very happy Okay. No, I, I'm very disappointed in you guys. Well, I tried to do this before you got back. There's no, Max, get out. You know for a fact. There's no way you'd have gotten done with this in time. Okay. <clears throat> The only way you could have is if you oversaw. Don't let me ruin it. you didn't I'm very, do today. I'm, re- so very, I'm very happy uh, that you love the movie. No, I just think you guys are being super critical for the sake of being critical. No, and no, it's, no. It's fine. I, I get it, guys. Because just, just you know, okay. Here, here, it's let okay me, to dogpile on a movie. Let, I'm just let saying. Me create a, let me create a scenario for you, Brian. Okay. You I, Star- I thought it was you fine. You, I didn't you, hate the movie. You, I was defending you, it. You yeah, love Star good, Trek, good. okay? Yes, so any 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 new Star Trek, you're 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 able to compare it with the best of Trek, you know, and you want Trek to be really good. Uh, I you know sometimes you. But I'm okay people, with it being okay. okay I'm okay, okay with it being. Yeah, and I'm okay with it being okay too. But I want to. But you shouldn't no. be okay with it being bad. I'm not okay. The, the bad is subjective, dude. That's up to me, you, or whoever else. Okay. My whole point is, is if you refuse to see this movie. Oh no! I I, I would okay. have to pay my ticket. Yeah. Oh, Don't oh, say me, anything bad me about say, it. Me? No, no, I'm not. No, bad I'm not about talking anything. about you. I'm just saying, like, I, there's a difference between you and somebody who would refuse to see a movie because reasons. Okay, Justin, you're you're, gonna, you're not going to watch it because you honestly don't care, right? I um, that one. Well, I don't or care you're based on what I, what I saw in the previous movie and walked out 30 minutes in because nothing was landing with me. Why would I go and pay and see a movie by the same director and the same franchise? Well, Ty, let's be real. I like oh, Tyke, but he is, I, I like... I, yeah, I so, so, so yeah, and like, I have I but have he is reasons. a divisive director for certain people. He is. Some people just really, his humor irks them. That's all. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, and people aren't being haters for saying that either. They, and they're usually Zack Snyder fans. <laughs> <laughs> did you get my joke though? Yeah, yeah. How, about how Kevin Feige did the Snyderverse right. Oh boy, we got when, eighty-two when, people watching. When the when the goat boat crashed into the Snyderverse, I laughed my oh. ass off, guys. All the co- all the color was gone and sucked out. <laughs> what happened to the color? No, oh, now I, gave, gave a now I got your joke. Oh, my <laughs> God. <all> the color. <laughs> oh, my uh, goodness. All right. Let's watch. We'll watch the six minutes. Golden Technicolor to... Splooge. Within the first few minutes, they make an absolute mockery out of everything that's happened in previous Thor films, including the deaths of Frigga, Odin, Heimdall, the Warriors. No, three. I actually thought that was pretty funny. They, that, actually, that. they didn't make fun of it, though. They were just establishing what Thor has gone through. Yeah, but they didn't make that's not making, yeah. it. It wasn't. Way. It that was wasn't, actually a funny joke. The, the way they no the only the only one they made fun of was the Loki stuff because and let's Loki, be fair Loki, Loki. Loki died multiple times yes, and yes. got like cheaped out right you thought he died like three different times so that and was the only lo- part they made fun of yeah. every Loki he's gonna hey, come Brian, Loki's gonna come so he's, he's the rant. blueprint we got, we got he's the 92, blueprint we got ninety two people watching because your little rant tell them to smash the hell out of like smash button. that like button because that's not as the blueprint. See, every movie oh copies my. it because they know it's the best. Hey, we actually have some good news about the Snyderverse as well. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, All is right. it Geekosity on? Oh, Jesus. No, 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 but it is actually, well, uh, actually, it is a Geekosity article. <laughs> but, <laughs> the article. But it is good news, you know, uh, it is a, it is, it has charted with other MCUs on demand. And this last barely. year, and that's that's barely. Fa- no, come on, don't downplay that shit. Uh, I mean, no. there is always a, in the cut, a director's cut competing with it. New barely Blue? made the top oh, 10. Oh, come on, it barely well, made the to top be 10. Fair, well, what other DC to be made the top fair, 10? Top. The Batman, well, be... the Batman, the Batman, obliterated Batman it. yes, the Batman, the Batman, obliterated the Batman it, and a director the cut movie squad? that came out years ago, I think it was higher. Um, Oh my the, god. James Gunn's the Now Wait you're up, going up the numbers. Run. Now you're The Batman get, obliterated get, it. Get the numbers. Get the numbers, please. Sure. Because now now you're all showing your bias against the Snyderverse because this is a director's cut of a movie charting with new product. It's basically no, it's a it's, it's, it's great. Yeah, like Tyka like, said, it's not always a good don't, thing. Don't don't downplay facts, please. That Tony in my do you, what do you you're a little on, you're on more unbiased than this than the others i would say uh does it charting in the top 10 with other other movies that were released this year director's cut is that somewhat significant in, in the top 10 among movies released this year the the, v, the no, with last VOD year, on last video year. on demand well, last year and this year though it was in the top yeah. 10 along with marvel movies and the batman is um, that is I that something look, look. It depends on what it made. I gotta look what it as it compares to the. I'm, I'm right? getting the numbers. Don't worry, I'm getting the numbers. I'm looking I mean, at the numbers right now. I mean, it from made, I mean, the entire it made less than Luca. So let's just let's yeah. Just, let's, it, well, not only did okay, so I'll, I'll bring up the article. Screw it. Let's actually look at it. All right. Well, let's finish. This. We're watching. No, only screw the video. Minutes. Screw the video. Six well, minutes. Referred to video, as just that the guy video. and Loki's sacrifice in Infinity War. Coincidentally enough, it was Loki's TV show that also made a mockery of the MCU. No, it didn't. No, I know. No, Stones being paperweights, yeah, not to that be was outdone. That was meant to show how insignificant it was. Ice cream shop. You know that little event where half the people in the universe disappeared for five years and returned to Disney Marvel dystopia. And yes, I'm gonna go. <laughs> yo, yo. We're only watching. Does, does he not know what black humor is? Because I mean, people what? talk about uh, tragedies all the time. Dark humor. Yeah, there, there is, is there thing. is a difference. Have you I, watched Dave Chappelle? That is, that is all I'm saying is, if you had a world-ending event that all of a sudden got reversed, people are going to be like making fun of it, right? Haha, uh-huh, they know we're, we're we're joking here. Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, people shit. came back. They didn't die for good. Hey, yeah. I will, I will, I will buy ice cream from the ice cream. <laughs> we know it. I don't care. Fuck it. If I was snapped for five years, I'd buy ice cream from that tribe. I don't care. I would I too, dude. Care. Infinity cones. I want to yeah, t-shirt. Yeah, give bro. me that. Thank you. All right. Yeah. I'll wait a six minutes. I promise. Uh, oh, there. That would be like having right. a Holocaust I'm getting, I'm getting ice cream shop. Oh! That's oh! 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 Because of Jojo, Jojo oh, Rabbit oh, was an amazing movie. Look at that picture he made, though. Look at that picture he made. He made oh, that, I didn't see that, that video. Wait, wait, go back. I, he, he, that? Go I back and look at the picture he made for this video. All right, I didn't see it. Hold, I just saw. Yes, I'm gonna go there. That would be like having a Holocaust ice cream. Oh no, he didn't. Look no. at what he made. No. Oh, no. My I didn't see that. No. Oh come what on, What the bro. hell, man? Isn't that oh, from Jojo Rabbit or whatever? Yeah. And uh, no, no, these aren't. The, I'm, gonna need I'm my logo going. I'm, I'm going to leave. I don't know what. The, what the? Okay, <laughs> Gary, what are you doing? I, I don't. I don't get it. I didn't see Jojo That's Rabbit. Not funny. Maybe there's another. I mean, maybe there's a joke to be had. Well, I, these, I, these I don't young get boys it. are I not. These seen young boys Jojo are not Rabbit. in Jojo Rabbit. And no, no, Carla. they're not. No. So he used Taika as. Uh, ver- oh version of Adolf. God, we'll just say yeah. Adolf giving ice cream to young black boys. Oh, oh my, my God. God. You know, I thought those were like Boy Scouts at first. Like, no. They were not in Jojo Rabbit as far I can't, as, as much as I can remember. I do not believe uh, that. No. I, I, I don't get it. I haven't seen the movie, too. I don't I don't understand. Oh, he my dear. Well, well, you gotta see the movie. He made a Holocaust comparison joke and then made this image. 
Uh, let's move. Let's let's move on. Let's move on. That was horrible. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm getting. I, I, I don't want to watch this. No, I don't. No, I don't want to watch anymore. Please. Fuck that. Okay. Uh, all I, right, I, all right, I all don't right. get it. I I, no, I genuinely cool. don't understand that. Some people think that it's edge. It's it's edge lord uh, humor. Edge lord humor. That's disgusting. Well, yeah, Max. This article that you that you're talking about from Geek Cassidy is complete horseshit. By the way. Oh, cool. Well, yeah, we didn't have to read it. So now long. you're talking Brian's language. <laughs> well, well, oh, look, sorry, it's, sorry. It's the master the of cringe thing. only knows how to cringe. So. No, wait, wait, whole... wait, wait. I have a question. Why are we bringing up Geek Aussie's article? We can actually look at the official article from Business Who left? Insider. Well, uh, Justin, left? Justin did. I'm oh, drinking cool. chocolate milk out of a coffee cup while dipping Oreos into it. Okay, so Merry Christmas. Well, well even yeah. that, even the Insider article, because this is horseshit too. Because if you read what it's about, it's not about money. It's about Screw you, Tony. You always have to make me make you know come in with facts and make me upset about. I, it, I was so hyped. It, all it is is about engagement. Okay. That's how they're measured. They don't even tell you exactly but how it's, they measure. It's, so yeah, let me read the article. From Justice League to Encanto, the most in-demand movies of last year show how box office isn't the only measurement for a movie's popularity. Analysis. The research firm Parrot Analytics recently launched a new movie demand metric. It measures engagement with movies beyond and popularity of results. films. You forgot that part. You you skipped yeah. over. Well, no, no. It, it, I'm just reading the article as it's presented. So we're getting into it. So am I. I got the same article put up. You're skipping words. I didn't see it. Says engagement words. and popularity. Right there. It says engagement and popularity of films beyond the box office. You're I know, I didn't get I, I didn't get to that part though. I didn't get to that. I'm reading the analysis oh. part. Oh, you're point. reading that bullshit. Part. Yes, yes. Thank, thank you, Tony. Thank you. Uh, here are the most in-demand movies since last July, according to the company's findings. The research firm Paradox recently launched movie turkey. demand, a, merger, a metric that de- measures the engagement and popularity of films beyond the box office. Uh, Parrot Analytics audience demand measurements reflects engagement with the title that includes not just viewership but also social media mm-hmm. interaction, online research. So. They're measuring popularity with viewership, social media, and online research, whatever that means. Okay. That means uh, Google search. You go to are, Google. Are, are they... trending, you know, people looking up Zack Snyder's Justice League or whatever yeah. else. Okay, so that's up. interesting then. Let's hold that thought, though, for a second then, Tony. The company fried inside with a list of the most in-demand movies from July 1st, 2021 through June 30th, 2022. The movies are a mix of theatrical exclusives, streaming exclusives, and movies that were released simultaneously in both formats, yada, yada, yada. All right, here's the list. Number 10, Encanto. Demand, 36.95. U.S. box office, 96 million. Global box office, That's not office, a bad box million. office. That's a good well, movie, too. I like it. Release date, yeah. November 24th, 2021. Black Widow, Black number Widow. nine. Demand, 37.66. U.S. box office, 183 million. Global box office, 379 million. Release date, July 9th, 2021. Debuted simultaneously in theaters and on Disney Plus for additional thirty dollars fee. Number eight, Zack Snyder's Justice League, Warner Brothers. Demand thirty six point ninety five. Wait a minute, that should shouldn't that be? I mean, that that means it's not number. They messed up. That means it's number nine, not number eight. Yeah, their decimals are wrong. Yeah, the decimals are wrong. Actually, it should be, uh, it's it should whatever. Be below. It's whatever. It actually is kind of a big deal. Actually, that's a lot of salt, guys. I'm just saying. That means that Black Widow actually trumped this. Um, oh, do I have that? Well, in here? come on though. You're comparing, and oh, this I isn't do. an excuse. I know you're no okay. Well, you, well this Listen. is an HBO. Well, I, here's I, why I, it's horseshit. No. Well, hold on, hold on. Here's why it's oh. horseshit, man. Okay. Because we don't know how the fuck they're doing these measurements, right? They could be taking the, the one person Zack Snyder <laughs> account who's tweeted out a thousand fucking times Mister Snyderverse and compare that to a thousand people what? who have tweeted out Black Widow shit, right? That's why I'm confused how they're going to measure social media engagement and what they determine as online research. Is why it's a little iffy for me. I mean, bots, RJ, bots. Well, one yeah, thing it, I will say though, the one thing I will say though is that it it does only measure from July 1st, 2021. It didn't the Snyder Cut debut in March of 2021. Yeah, kind of kind of died off. So it did. Yeah. So it did. It did slow down a bit in July. So maybe it would have been higher up. Yeah, yeah but you uh, had, had all that shit going on with the. But it goes through June, through June 30th. Remember, you had all that shit with the new uh, release. Of listen, the, it's significant. This is a it's not significant. cut of a I, movie. I can make a list of in-demand shit. Com- com- just, just put whatever the fuck I want. Competing with a movie that's got its first release. But it's not competing, Max. It's a bullshit metric that they invented, and then they slapped a number on, and they're telling you okay. that it's number eight. And all they right. can't even get their numbers right. 
This isn't even um, Business Insider. This is Insider, by the way. Not Business right. Insider. Okay, they can't even bad. get their fucking numbers right. Okay. Damn. So number seven, Luca, right? Uh, demand thirty eight point eighty one release date June eighteen. Well, both of these movies. Release... Okay, so the Sonatico was HBO Max exclusive, and Luca was right. Disney Plus exclusive. They just, I don't know how they're getting these numbers. How they, like, Godzilla uh, versus Kong number six oh, well, demand yeah, thirty nine point forty six. The U S box office four hundred million. Global box office four hundred seventy million. Was, so know, both was, Luca, was, Black Widow, and Godzilla versus Kong beat up the Snyder Cut. Okay, turning red. Number five, demand thirty nine point seventy. Release date March thirty, twenty twenty two. Debuted exclusively on Disney Plus for uh, no additional fee to subscribers. Oh, and look at that, the Batman number four beating out the other DC movie, the Snyder Cut. What is that's that? not fair. It's not fair. Demand forty one point thirty one. No. Yeah, US that's Fox great. Office that it's it's like by like seven a points, like six brand or seven points. new movie with no other version competing with a second version of a movie. It's but they're not, not basing it on, 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 on they're not basing it on, on money, Max. They're basing it on other shit. Okay. I mean, it's it it, not. It, for, I will say this is not fair to compare. It, 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 I'm saying if you were expecting, if you if you were if you if you were going to say, I'm not pushback, Max. Hold on. If you're going to bring up this list and treat it as something that we should be proud of, that they made it to the list, then it's fair to compare the the people that are on the fucking list. Don't say because this is a new movie and Snyder's an old movie. No, I I said it's I said it's significant to compete with new product. I, I, you know, in the expectations well, well, hey, for all, if, if, in the expectations for to be a success, only to be well, even hey, higher on this list. If, 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 if we're treating this, with I would not ignore of, this. Uh, we're, that's all I'm saying. It's not, in, this, it's not insignificant. That's if what we're I'm looking saying. at this with any level of seriousness. Then I can finally say. Uh, the Batman was not a flop. Uh, no, I didn't say that. The biggest no. demand movies. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't Come know on. Eternals make about. number three on the fucking list. Eternals number this, three. This, this demand is a, this is a list 40, 40. Just barely, though. Just barely. by like. It shouldn't like even made the list. It's one of the worst movies of all fucking time. It's because that's not a good movie. Nice. It's a good movie. I like it. I would say Wonder Woman. Well, it's probably because of when it hit streaming. A lot of people I like it better than 4 4. Number two, Venom Let There Be Carnage. Oh, no, that's garbage. Oh. Demand forty five point ninety six. I can't defend that movie. Number one, Spider Man No Way Home. Demand. Doctor Strange didn't even ninety nine point ninety seven. Ninety nine. Point well, this 97. is from the end of twenty twenty one though. That that's be twenty twenty two for Doctor. No, Strange. it goes through twenty twenty two, Max. Oh, okay. It goes through June thirtieth. Oh, okay. from July first to June. Dirty. Well, it didn't because they didn't have on demand options yet for Doctor Strange. Maybe, but it's yeah. not about. But it's about social media engagement and other stuff. Oh, uh, right? okay. All right. Yeah, that, that doesn't make sense to me either. That, that's. Right I don't know though. Exactly. This this insider article. Doctor is Strange was hype. Weird. How is it not on the list? Yeah, this yeah, article is fishy weird. things for this article. Uh, to be honest, this article fishy things. things. But we have ninety three people watching. Smash the hell out of the the like button for us. Because Zack Snyder's the blueprint, guys. Yes. So, so, so just for oh clarification's Lord. sake, everybody. Zach, not just a turkey. So just for clarification's sake, everybody. Zack Snyder got beaten by a fish movie. Uh, a god. Oh, monster see now, movie, now, 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 now. A you're teenage being girl in a red panda now, movie. A, no, oh, a better come, Batman oh, movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A better uh-huh. Zack Snyder movie that Marvel made. Uh, RJ, you're movie, being biased, brother. And you're being biased. Movie. You gotta calm down. See, if you're gonna do it. It's a joke. I'm joking around. I'm joking around. I'm well, I get you, man, but it's gotta, be better. it's gotta be better. It's gotta well, be better. Well, I mean, yeah. for HBO Max exclusive, it's not timing, bad. man. It's not bad in my opinion. I'm Why having a laugh. Bad. I'm just messing around. Don't take it seriously. I still think right. it's a bullshit yeah. metric. No one should be paying attention. Yeah, to yeah, I, know, I was taking it personal, Max. I'm cool as a cucumber, homie. You're just throwing. You're just. You're just. Cucumbers? You're just trying to trigger people with this bullshit, bullshit <laughs> joke. No, I was purposely trolling just to trigger some fools because I know. I, 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 I think you're being it. unfair if, if you're saying it has to compete on the exact level as these new properties. It's a different. I can't. We don't I even mean, know what the hell the. the I don't know the metric. I don't know. Though. I know. Listen, Tony. I know the metrics are off, and it, 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 those numbers seem a little. Guys, us. we can get in the way. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying the. Okay. The whole standard that it has to it has to do better than that to be a success. No, I think for a, I even a, said a director it. for a director's cut to be even. But in see, that, that's the problem, that Max, Max. That's the problem yeah. I'm having with your argument. You okay. keep trying to you keep trying to build it up like 
this is a good thing because they made it on the list. And I don't say it blows everything out of the water. No, 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 no. I didn't say you did, but you're yeah. you're trying to make it seem like it's significant that it made it on the list. I'm telling you, the whole thing is bullshit from from jump. <laughs> the, the list itself, they don't yeah. tell you how they get the metric. Okay. It, there's I no understand. way of knowing. It could be a whole bunch of Snyder bots, and they're like, oh, look at all these tweets, and they counted each one. Right? Hmm. We don't know. So you're giving this this prop to this this list. I could have made Tony's list and just put fucking ten movies on. Like, see, they're the well, most this, demanded. Well, I, I as far as I knew, I didn't. I don't do researches like you guys do. But I didn't have to I do research. They, I just this, looked at the article. It, it said this, literally this, in the article. I'm saying this list popped up a few places. The top ten that it was consistent. The numbers. I don't know. But I didn't research how they I got mean, the numbers. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, I'm you not going like, to like, shrug it off, but it is. I mean, it's why interesting. Why did it pop up? Do you know um, why it popped up? Because well, guys, because Sama it, TV it knows everything. And no, hold, they hold, had hold. all the numbers, and everybody else is full of shit. And yeah. trust me, because I'll tell you exactly what you want to hear. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing, Max. When it, when a, a website like Insider puts out this list, all the Tony, other websites so just dry, copy so it. Dry. Right? They just copy the list. That's why it's popping up. Yeah. They just copy it. And then they just say, hey, according to the insider, and then they put the link. Just like Geek Ox City did. Say, hey, according to the insider. I'm going to go back in time, though, okay? Dude, there was a time uh, a little over, right before the Snyder Cut came out, where they're like, guys, you don't understand. It's not the the same movie. It's a completely different movie. Who who was messing with my tickers? (laughs) I am a movie shaker. Caden. Wait, what? What? I love this? Grace Walt Randolph. My I don't know. I just I'm, I, I, I everything just like is a good person to blame. Please subscribe to support the show and follow me at Mad Max Movies ones. And then the rest of the shit, I, I don't know who added that. I'm guessing it is Caden. Oh, I forgot. You shake your moves, stuff. Max. I don't know what they're talking. Here's some other ones. Moves are man boobs. Here, yeah, no, I know that. Uh, there's this what one. The fuck? Here's yeah. here's an old one. <laughs> Uh, here's one. <laughs> uh, okay, don't don't highlight all of these. I got to get rid of some of this shit. <laughs> all right, Coming let's soon. now let's. Uh, the the rock, rock is the blue. <laughs> We're losing viewers. Hopefully, hopefully, actually, I have a Star Trek article. But oh, first, do. but first, because the plan was to get through that, but bef- bef- get that bef- the Thor criticism before <laughs> Brian got here. That's why I did not sleep. I didn't take a nap. I, I like, love my power. Oh, God, it's so great. <laughs> uh, this is an interesting because a lot of my criticisms of Thor will, will go back to the technical aspects. And there, there's some a lot of uh, a lot of people are covering uh, issues with Marvel, and the VFX. But I, I, I understand. But also they provide a lot of jobs to all these VFX houses and. Honestly, I think they would have a lot of these firms. Would the way that Jeff can be a so it's a double edged sword. It's a double edged sword because a lot of these, let's be real, Disney employs most of these BFX houses in their credit. They're complaining about Disney and Marvel and how, but they also are their, you know, biting the hand that feeds them. Well, they could the suck it. Because, <laughs> well, well, no, let. I, I they should be able to criticize their employer if the conditions aren't great. But ultimately, I, in my personal opinion, they still exist because of Disney. In my opinion, but let's let's hear George George Lucas. Um, yeah, but they. I mean, what's before we start there? What's your thoughts on that about all these RJ Brian? Uh, I mean, I I feel that they have their jobs because of Disney and Marvel. Like, like you know, when people were complaining about, was it Scorsese and other people were complaining about, um, you know, superhero stuff? They kept the industry afloat these during these pandemic lean years. They kept uh, the theaters in business. They kept the theaters in business too. They helped for sure. I mean, they were they kind have- of like the uh, the adrenaline boost shot that they needed, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I do think there's some issues going on. Oh, sure. Across the industry with the yeah. VFX stuff, though. Um, I love, listen, I love what John Kemp has said in the video. I watched it earlier today. It well, was, no spoilers. No spoilers. It, I'm honest, but it is, if something is going to industries, I wish that studios get their own VFX 
house like what they grassy they probably will so they probably will it is should well, and it, um and, marvel and, won't like, be able to do as much content if they have one studio that does everything yeah they, the reason yeah. they get so much done on a timeline is because they have studios all around the world working they on yeah, it yeah, that's true yeah they give it out and and then also the other studios bid on the project well, the they bid on it yeah the so, grassy thinks that they will but i i think that's i don't think that will happen i would like it to happen i just oh, don't I see it. it you know look at the credit sequences to get to those end credit scenes of marvel it is huge the list of vfx huge well, that's because well, there's i mean all, you, know. you can't compare avatar to to marvel stuff well, what, james cameron is working closely to the vfx team and the people that he knows from that from that team so well, 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 Brian, Tony, RG, and Anthony, do you have any thoughts on there before we go start the video about like this is, you know, the, don't you feel like they've uh, they um, have definitely have the right... the, hold, hold hold on did anyone actually vet the person who made the Reddit thread that was linked in the gamer? It was actually thing? more than a Reddit thread. There was an there was a couple articles that got posted too. Right, right, but a lot of it stems from a Reddit thread. Uh, and I just want to know if anyone actually vetted because I see they got a lot of um, adult. Uh, post uh, from this this person who's claiming to be a VFX uh, person. Oh, so they're fake persons. Okay. Fake well, it people. could. It, no, it, I, I mean, either that or they're horny on main, right? I mean, if you're using your <laughs> yeah, business your yeah. business account to also do like. Apparently, some of this thing? has been vetted by people. Yes, some people did vet some of this information. So. Mm. Sounds well, it, it, there's potential weird. there to be someone salty on the internet that's a fan that doesn't like what Marvel's doing, or you know, to float this. Or just just a VFX a artist that's salty that they got fired, or they had to do. Yeah, work. yeah. There's lots of scenarios. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, let's let's watch this here. Amy, what is our second main topic today? Our second main topic comes to us from Calvin Patel. Hello. Amy does a good job. You know, Amy's. Yeah, she's been a good replacement for Chris Carr. Is out with the uh, COVID. Oh, um, yeah. replace her. Replace her. I like her. Uh, no, oh, I like, I I like, like Chris Carr too. Yeah, Chris no, I, I like Chris. I think she's good. You can alternate. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But like, crew. I just read an article. What, Anthony? Are women just replaceable to you? Explain. Uh, no, I, I never say. Well, <laughs> no, no. Just that. Just no, no. <laughs> from the gamer talking about vfx artists refusing to work with marvel due to stress and unrealistic deadlines this was backed by a drew govill who left the vfx industry after working with marvel and said they're the worst client okay. to work with colleagues well, partner this with the like the old um vfx studios that just work directly on one film and they highly intensive vfx and they had more time to do it where they didn't work on multiple projects if the money, if the if the film doesn't make it, that could sink a VFX studio. You know, if they if they don't diversify, work on multiple projects at the same time, consistent projects. Well, if they don't work on multiple, you know, projects, one, one heavy money, one extremely heavy VFX project for a, 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 an expensive film with a lot of time and not consistent other projects could sink a studio, a VFX studio, right? If it's not extremely profitable, you know. Well, I, I mean, mean you have to make your money somehow. Like, you just have to work on multiple projects, and you got to make your money. If you don't make your money, then how are you gonna? The company will go bankrupt. So you know. we pause every ten seconds, Ibrahim. Not every. Five. Yeah, we have. Well, well every ten okay. seconds. Let's try and maybe... make it at least like thirty. Okay. It's called so being breaking down after guys. being overworked. Well, Marvel tightens the purse strings. What are your mm -hmm. thoughts? All right, thanks a lot for saying that in. I have none. And listen, there is a really unfortunate reality that has been a part of the movie industry for a very, very long time. And that is that visual man, effects workers be like old. are massively overworked. He is old. He's getting old, man. You remember a couple of years ago. I'm looking old too. Anthony. Where a lot of people on social media, I can't remember if this eight, nine years ago. That when I retire, I'm just going to go straight to movie talk. When I'm like uh, yeah. 70. When I retire, see. I'm going to move to LA and become the host of the Duke John Campia show. Hey, I would nah. love to see Max. Imagine Max. I, I got 30 Campia more show. years of doing my regular job and this job. Uh, if I can retire, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to do full time YouTube once I'm 70. Wow. 
You got 30 more years of this madman. And more than if I survive. <laughs> Maybe a little bit less. Where no, a lot of people I, on social media start taking down just, their profile that pictures. That was a weird cut when I said 30 more years of this bad man. He's like, maybe a little bit less. Oh, no, no. I, I just realized that. that no. was some weird juju. I know, I know. Don't say that, John. I just put up a blank green box representing solidarity with visual effects artists. And there's this great story out there, heartbreaking, but great story out there about this company won an Academy Award for uh, the, the one with the kid in the boat with the lion. Um, oh, Life Ang of Lee's Pi. Life of Pi. Life of Pi. It was Ang Lee, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The Ang Lee's find Life of Pi. They win an Academy Award, and the week later, they have to shut down. Mm -hmm. There is... it. The visual effects world is a cutthroat. So, based on that, the consumer does not reward these huge... There's not a good track history of consumers rewarding these highly intensive visual effects yeah. films yeah. where if they, if they do more, you know, the market decides that if they haven't rewarded that and it, it puts this VFX company at risk, like people complain about I, in me God. too. I complain about the quality of VFX. People think Avatar 2 is going to be good. Well, that's, that's the thing though. That, that's an, that it's, there's very few of those projects that are made like Avatar 2, Brian. And if it does fail, no one's well, going to pay, no one's yeah. going to pay for that again. Yeah, like if, exactly. If Avatar 2 fails, no one is going to pay. For Breaking Brian news. Investment. Avatar 2 fell at the box office. No, no, I think it's going to do good, but if it does not, if it does not, uh, justify it's production budget with visual effects, high end visual effects. There's not going to be any more projects like that. There's not. That's going to be more. Oh, the CGI looks kind of iffy. You know, people that doesn't bother a lot of people. It bothers me. You know, but uh, many I visual think, effects uh, artists don't make more than minimum wage. Hmm, wow, that is true. They don't. I mean, hey, if your company's pushing you, they're pushing you. Well, do, does anyone agree with eight four tiered um, no, RJ? Right. No, no. uh, I, I I think that sometimes I think that it's I wouldn't say sometimes gone, sometimes, and sometimes, it, it ha, sometimes I wouldn't say it's gone to shit. It's just gone very inconsistent. Um, well, definitely feels like that. Like it's like not as much love and care is being put into well, every individual. It's hit or miss. It depends on, on the project. I yeah. Remember on the Hawkeye show that bridge where um the the like the bridge they were fighting on stuff like that. You could tell that was green screen, but they couldn't film it there, obviously. So like, it's just it hit and misses and stuff. I thought Doctor Strange had like good visual effects and some little bit that's bad, but not that much to notice. So um, yeah. Well, well, I want to say something real quick because uh, they mentioned that Drew, a uh, Goville person, right? Uh, he only worked on two Marvel movies. And that was the original Guardians of the Galaxy and the um was it Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah, sure. but he but he is a veteran in the VFX business though. Right, but, but he's saying that, that Marvel is such a horrible client, but one one was a Sony Pictures Marvel. Yeah, it, it, Sony was, it was one still was it was still it was still working with Marvel though in both cases though. Yeah, but how is the how is the Marvel fault if it's Sony that the one that the one? Well, was we can't for? we can't lay the blame on Sony though because again we weren't there. When no, the I'm blaming was... Sony. We blaming Sony too. And this, no, we blaming Sony. Why? The the Sony, they at though. least have to share half the blame for his his it, bad experience yeah. on the movies. What I'm saying is those movies were so long ago. It's not. Like... But again, that's kind of like semantics though. Like, well, okay, well, you, well, okay, we'll blame Marvel. Okay, we'll say 100 percent it was Marvel's fault. No, I'm not, I'm not. Are so long ago that I don't think he's relevant to the conversation anymore. That Wait. is true. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. but why are we dismissing his experiences? We're though? not dismissing his experience. I'm saying that they're they're comparing his old experience to something that happened years later under two different leaderships, two different uh, directors. All kind of stuff is so different between these two experiences that it's hard to 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 connect them and say, yeah, these are these are the same type of experiences, right? He had his experience and it was a shitty experience, and yeah, that sucks for him. And this other guy had his shitty experience, and that sucks for him. But I don't think those two are comparable because, like I said, they're so far apart in the spectrum. 
fucking well, Marvel if his, exper- if his experience with working Marvels what drove him out of the VFX business altogether. But we don't know who the boss is. We don't even know who the guy who yelled at him or who gave him shit is the same guy. Well, it's not, no, 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 no. I think that's what we're, what we're misunderstanding. It's not that like it was a specific person. It was the entire working situation and the conditions for which he was working under. But are we going okay, to but, blame, but, are we how many blame projects? Marvel? How many projects have what? happened between the, that movie? Guardians of the Galaxy and the new movies, right? There's like 28. Well, again, and in, in the corroborated report and uh, Reddit uh, thread where some VFX artists uh, came forward with their story, some of them were working on projects as recently as WandaVision. Right. It, so, but if, what I'm is, if some, some people, there's effects. some movies and there's some product that no one has come out and said that was a bad experience, right? We're not holding that up. Like, look, no one complained about. Uh, somebody, one of the persons cited Thor, actually, that they, like, they didn't mention what Thor, though, so that's the only question we have. Do you understand what I'm saying, though, What I'm saying is, if there's a project that they, that no one's come out and complained about, right, we're not holding that up, like, well, see, the, the, on Guardians of the Galaxy 2, no one complained, so that means Marvel's doing a great job. No, each product is is a separate instance, a separate fucking, uh, thing. It's not all, like, it's the same, Marvel's like, yeah, let's fucking fuck with everybody in the VX department all the time. Right? There's got to be something going on. Maybe there's crunch. Maybe the, the fucking movie's not working out. Maybe he did shitty fucking VX and like, dude, you got to fix this shit. I mean, I think it's possible. There's just, is- there were just issues across the board. Maybe like it's some- maybe it's just an individual project thing. I don't know. So all I can tell- let him, Tony? All, all, I, all we can know for sure at this point though is that there are issues going on. Can we just finish a video, Max? Well, there's uh, this is an amazing story here that yeah, I just wanted, to sh- just wanted to share with you <laughs> on Twitter. Um, people left raging after chef turns McDonald's fries and nuggets into a luxury meal. Wait, what? Hell yeah! Nice. Well, McDonald's is already a luxury meal. What are you talking about? You can't turn luxury into luxury. This chef just crazy. Unique dish using McDonald's nugget meal. It has people talking. Let's discuss. Wow. What do you think of that? Chicken nugget pasta. Sounds delicious. Your attempt to defuse the situation is noted, Max. Oh, I just I, I, I just noticed something. Well, I kind of tuned out when you guys were going back and forth. And I, was honest, on Twitter. <laughs> I was looking on Twitter. Yeah, so oh, much care about what we have to say. Thanks. Sorry. I, I, I was looking on Twitter. I, you know, you guys were going back and forth. I was like, I, I was enjoying it for a while. Okay. <laughs> caught. I guess I'm caught. Yes. Thank you, RJ. Sorry. <laughs> we're not going to watch this whole thing. Minister- Just like most things. Fuel margin business where and a- labor intensive and, and super, super labor intensive. Where say somebody like DC will come along and say, okay. We have this project. I know you left, Brian. We have I'm this sorry. block of visual effects. I was shots just getting to done. Star Trek. Here too. are the shots that need to be done, and then they put it out for tenor, and different companies. Shut up, Jeffrey. Will come in and put in a bid <laughs> to say we will do that job for this much money. You see, I like that. You see, we'll look around and say, well, well, this company says they'll do it for a little bit less. So, right from the beginning, you have to come to these companies and say. We will do it for the minimum amount of money that we possibly can that's going to keep us afloat <laughs> and hope that somebody else doesn't come in even lower than that. And believe me, as somebody who worked in the visual effects industry, yeah, yes, there are definitely yes. times when companies will come in just to keep work going and actually knowingly bid on a project where they know they're going to take a loss, where they know this is going to cost us $5 million to do this project. But we had to bid at 4.5. We're going to take a half a million dollar loss on this. And here's the thing. Once you bid on it, that's it. Yeah. That's so you bid on you. You've committed now to doing the work. So you look at the, the storyboarding, you look at the animatics, you go, okay, so here's this effect shot, but now they can keep coming back to you and say, well, now we want that dragon to have five horns instead of four. Well, okay. Well, you've already bid on the project. <laughs> you go and make five. And, and there have been nightmare stories for years about, Artists working 18, 19, 20 hours a day 
Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. God Speak English. Damn. It, sounds, it sounds like crunch, like in video games too. But let, let's be honest. Yeah, no, uh, the crunch it, situation in video games. Would be the really entertainment bad industry too. as a whole, not just video games, has always no. Been the video VFX games. industry hasn't crazy. even like the OG Star Wars. Then weren't they under crunch too? Like uh, I'm not saying it justifies it. Which one? What's the your thoughts are on, pretty cool. What's your thoughts on this, RJ and Anthony and Tony, on the crunch in the entertainment industry? It's not just video games. It's movie. It's been hasn't it always been like this? It doesn't. What are your thoughts? I think on it's it? gotten worse actually. To be honest, I mean it's always been there. I think crunch has just always been an issue. It's just that it feels like it's gotten worse over time, because uh, a lot of corporations are taking advantage of people who honestly need the work. Right? It's just kind of like the issue with. Well, like, it seems work. like a lot of these contracts just, um, that people were frustrated with are, are part of their own management their own studios accepting these low bids too to just keep things going to keep the lights on yeah i mean like i said it's just, it, it, it's honestly it, i think your is says best it, this happens pretty much every day pretty much in so many other films and productions and just studios across the board honestly the best solution would be that maybe the vfx uh artists need to gather together protest and unionize union yeah yeah and maybe know. it's time for a vfx yeah. artist union I know so I'm, I'm not I'm not sure there's one that already exists, but maybe they need to no, have stronger they would union never representation. Do that. They would never do that because they need the money. There's unions for like a bunch of other stuff. There's like the writers, like there's a bunch of other unions in Hollywood. Like the FX artists should get their own union as well. Have some negotiating power. What do you think, Tony? I think it's a tricky issue because you're yeah. talking about jobs that are not it's not a nine to five, right? It's not every day you're coming in. You're gonna work six months, eight months, whatever it takes to do the movie, right? That's it. So, uh, it, you know, you got a deadline. You know what's what's got to be done, and shit happens sometimes, right? I, I get crunch. I, I don't work in the fucking industry. No one's like fucking telling me how sorry it is for me to have to work fucking eighteen hours a day, right? Right. I mean, it, the thing is, you want people. You want to be. You kind of want to root for workers rights and stuff but the ultimately a lot of these firms would go out of business if it, if it weren't in it with if it wasn't for disney in these situations either a lot of especially during the pandemic and that's my opinion a lot of these vfx places right, without, without disney there. without paramount without and they, and DC, who without have they work on multiple like the is saying a lot of them work on multiple projects yeah having multiple projects instead of just one big film one big film can thank you he, he He's talked about Life of Pi. That's probably what that visual effects firm. I don't have all the details, but that's probably the only thing they worked on. The yeah. Life of Pi. Then instead of multiple projects at the same time, and then even though it won an award, it wasn't like, as far as I can remember, it wasn't a huge profitable movie. No, I, I think uh, RJ's um, suggestion of a union is again going to be a tricky situation because you have different size v VFX companies, right? And so you can't just set a standard be like, well, you have to pay us X amount, right? Like across the board, because, you know, that might work for the bigger companies, but then the smaller companies might still be like, it's not enough money to keep afloat. Or maybe the smaller companies, because they got less workers, well, that'll work, but now we got to do more crunch, right? So it's going to be such a fucking tricky issue because... You got you to think of all the different company sizes. Oh no, no, no absolutely no, no. Forming a union, forming a union, especially for the VFX industry, industry is not going to be an easy task. It's going to be a very long, arduous process. No, but I'm saying even after the, after they get like say two years go by, they get honestly, the union. they probably outsource to other countries. They probably would. They probably yeah. would. Which I'm saying, be honest too. here. Let's you be could honest. you couldn't make any demands is what I'm saying though because like like I said, a bigger company can afford a, a you know a, a lower price like how. Can't be able to say, you know, some companies, they're bidding, you bid on the jobs. So now you would have to say, get rid of the whole bid system, right? And just be like, this job is X amount of hours, so you have to pay us Y amount of money, guaranteed. And then you're going to have companies like, well, fuck it. Why am I hiring this small company? You're out of business because we're just going to keep hiring the big company, right? Because mm -hmm. we're paying everybody the same. So why are we hiring you? The only yeah. reason we hired you to begin with is because you could undercut the other guys, Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's. I, I I honestly think they would just outsource it if they tried to unionize. They'd go to other countries for visual effects. There's lots of, and it, that's not to undermine people's hard work on these projects. It's just 
there's a lot of VFX studios around the world, I, as far as I know, right? Yeah. Well, what they need to do is if they're going to unionize or anything, they need to have some sort of guarantee that they're going to get like a cut of the box office, maybe. Mm, yeah. Mm, that's really difficult, though. I didn't the say only, it was the only, easy, the only, the only way you can make money, right? The only thing difficult. that might stop them from outsourcing is the spoiler part. If they really don't want certain things out, because if you go to other countries, that already not... happens now, though they already yeah, do yeah I know. It already happened when some when somebody worked with a VFX company and then the VFX suffered for no way. Yeah, home. those VFX things happen. Yeah, anyway. a lot of them already yeah, outsourced. Like a lot of VFX, like for movies, they do already outsource to other countries, including the United States. You know, there's they work with like multiple VFX teams across the world on the same project, and oftentimes there'll be miscommunication between both groups because uh, one person will be working on one thing and they need something done by the other team, but they're not done yet. And it can get very messy. All right. Well, let's only watch to five minutes and I got other topics here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, all the way through. I remember myself when I worked at a visual effects company, like we would get in a certain project and we were a smaller company. Mm-hmm. Like we were a sub sub company. So here's what would happen. So, Studio. Uh, a company, a studio would put out a, a package. Say, okay, we need these visual effects done. And then a big visual effects house would win the bid, but they don't have enough labor to do all of it. So then they take some of it and they put it out for smaller companies like us to take over some of them, right? And I remember we would, we literally brought in cots into the, into the office. We would work, 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 sprint over to 7-Eleven, grab a Slurpee, come back, work, 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 crash on the cot for 90 minutes, Back up, work, 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 work. And that's just the way it does. Mm. Anyway, the big client now, obviously the biggest client in the industry is Marvel with all their movies and Disney Plus shows and all that kind of stuff. So they're the ones giving out a lot of Anthony, you disagree? Who's bet? I think I think I think is either I think is and Marvel's there for DC too. No, Anthony, no, because no Marvel is like like they're constantly cranking out projects, dude. DC, but, like, yes, when they do put out something, it's very visual effects heavy. They employ but also, Marvel, I do agree. I but agree Marvel, that. but Marvel will set like literally has so many projects all at once in rapid succession. Yeah, they are the cool. largest employer of visual effects companies. Well, I, mean, yeah, I guess, but like, I mean, it's it's the, not it's not de- I mean it's not debatable, man. Because like again, the out their output is so much bigger. For? Are we being honest here with ourselves? What? What? Do DC what? fans have anything to shill for? Yeah, like what? <laughs> no, the Flash. Flash. <laughs> <The last movie. laughs> I was gonna make a joke. Thank Black you Adam. so much. <laughs> I was gonna make. Jo- but the thing is, like, um, oh. like nobody. But like, who the fuck is the Flash, anyways? Um, uh, like, like this one thing I agree with DC is that they push Black Adam so it could get better visual effects. Well, so they push back all the DC do. movies, actually. Maybe you would never Marvel doesn't do why. that because Marvel is a retard sometimes, you know. Well, if they, they should do no, that, they should they, again, it's all about again because they're so interconnected, they want everything to come out when it needs to come out. That way, well, you know, if, if DC starts around. delivering a, a better product than Marvel and then the visual effects competition. We'll be, we'll read a better product to ultimately too, but that's not going to help the VFX artists. Well, yeah, well, once we're as left, um, wipe out the level. All right. Well, let's let's uh, till five minutes. Like five minutes is the cutoff. And let's hear everybody. And let's then and everybody. then it's Star Trek all night, all day long. <laughs> With all that work whoa, comes a lot of frustration. Whoa. That hasn't just been limited to Marvel. This has been a problem for over a decade. But the Marvel's the biggest player now. This comes to us from the folks. Over at the gamer, who are writing about a lot of threads going on oh, over we want to get to Robert on Meyer Reddit for a between while. a lot of visual effects artists who are now Never saying mind. they don't even want to work on Marvel projects anymore because there's just so much stress. I'm on my third Marvel project in a row, and literally, I just woke up at 5:30 a.m. on a Saturday with stress. I don't want to do this anymore. Writes uh, Abdur. Uh, that sounds, that sounds like work. everyone's brain job ambition. That sounds no. Honestly, I'm not downplaying bad work environments for people. That said, that just sounds like anyone that's had a job that has consistent work ever. <laughs> honestly, besides well, oh, oh, the card. Max, card. Max, I need you to wake up at five thirty to do a VFX. Can you do it for me? If I, I would love to be in the VFX industry if I was that talented. Uh, I would be cool with. But a, if a you of- are, if you don't want to do this anymore, just don't do it. Quit. You don't want to quit because you want to make money, right? 
that's you know. Uh, no, that is that is true. COVID did mess things up too, obviously. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, COVID. COVID could suck a dick. Wow, Anthony. Yeah. I'm now, and I'm making a reel to apply someplace has that has projects other than Marvel. All right, because I can't do this. You're not gonna find that. I'm. You're not gonna find that. Other places. Well, I, I got a dip because my laptop's about to die. So, oh, uh, right over. Oh, it has nothing to do with Star Trek. Use your phone. No, I no, I I love I love Star Trek. Actually, I'm gonna Bullshit. start watching. It. All right, I, yeah, I, haven't watched, I haven't watched it. I'm Sorry. gonna start actually, where watching is the Star Trek article. I had one. Oh my God! Really? Sure, you fucking misplaced did. it. I did. Oh I had it. Stop, where is stop it? teasing Brian just to get. I'm not, dude. Quit man. bullshitting me, dude. Like seriously. No, I'm not. I'm not. First, I, I got have... people trying to make fun of me, like I've never been no. made fun of before, like it in Star Trek about... before. Coffee cups, like, and as the game says, the coffee restores your soul. What the hell? That's how I feel about coffee. We need a shirt of that. Well, how about one from the? Co it was about Strange New World Season 2. I'm going to have to look it up. Well, the first that, season was fantastic. It wrapped up this week. Um, Max, well, what that was, I was I, you shouldn't have played it yet because I was going to tell you what that was before you played it. I didn't play it. Well, oh, no, I, brought, it? I, brought, I brought it up because I couldn't. I was wondering what the hell it was. I thought you were sharing oh, your screen. Just look what, at it. what it was was that uh, the quartering, he photoshopped his coffee brand into an ABGN clip. Oh, oh no! That's funny. It's it's funny, but it's also illegal and and high, highly bad. No. He's basically oh. using AVGN to to shill his coffee unknowingly. Mind you, that's not so, good. So, so is it, isn't it fair off, use because it's comedy? It's not comedy. It's an advertisement. It, it, it is an advertisement. It does, uh, doesn't it kind of fall no. both? No, no, it's 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 actually illegal. You can't manipulate wait, a video wait, like that approach wait, wait. product. Wait, so he... Uh -huh. Wait, what happened he, again? He put the quartering show it, show it now. Yeah. Show it it's now. only 54 seconds. You might as well show let's, it. Let's see. I'll, I'll rewind see. it. Get caught. So this you is even a, get from an AVGN episode, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I guess in the game you get coffee, so... Coffee cups. And as the coffee. game says, the coffee restores your soul. The coffee restores the soul. That's how I again? feel about coffee. We need a shirt of that. So that coffee brand coffee is the quarterings uh, coffee company. Uh, oh, How about one from the Commodore 64 Nightmare on Elm Street that says, use coffee to restore your soul. Well, people a fatal disc saying, error has occurred. The manual has a tech support number. I think I'll call it. So James Rolf has coffee no idea he's doing this. How may I direct your call? Ha <laughs> ha! Why does he look like James Gunn right there? <laughs> Can it be considered a parody, though? It's not yeah, just this, a commercial. This kind of no, because at the end, it is okay, logo. Okay, legal analysts, I'm telling you right now, if it had wrote a big deal, they'd have taken this shit down already, so... Well, actually, it's we're not trying to snitch on anybody, right? Well, actually, it's coffee brand's a complete failure, anyway. It's really isn't. Matter. Well, either... okay, so it's another layer of doesn't give doesn't fucking matter. Well, yeah. actually, <laughs> no, 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 it matters because he's the type of person that obviously that, that it doesn't because it's still on there, dude. Like well, actually, I, actually, I don't know. Just because he wasn't I'll caught doesn't this. mean it's not a thing. Actually, no, I'm, I'm, coffee, so I'm not telling him. I downloaded okay. it. It's not okay. So Tony, Tony, like. I don't give a shit who you're trying to snitch off, man. I'm not trying to snitch off. Well, it seems like <laughs> I'm it. I'm pointing out fucking hypocrisy and grifting. Oh. Yeah. Well, I I, I, yeah. I understand your points, Tony. But I mean, I, I'm just I, saying, I, like, I, if me, we were to personally, I, I, mine that it, hypocrisy train, we can, we can, it, we can dig up a dirt oh, on ourselves. Oh, God, so Brian. That's Woo. why we don't do this. I actually found the article. <laughs> are we digging <laughs> up dirt on? Because because I'm, I'm always 100%. I'm not hypocritical. All right, all right, cool. So fun topics next. What do we got? But I, but I, I, I want to say one final thing. On I, fe I see that it's in both categories as parody, but it also kind of promotes this. So it's yeah. The like corner and coffee is actually good. Though. Like I could see. Got it him now, ways. dude. I could see it goes both ways. Honestly, in my opinion, but I, I do see your angle too, Tony. That it's, it's using someone else to, to sell a product. But what do you do when it's also a parody? 
you know, blurring lines there. I don't know. I don't know well, what the law well, Let's just put on. this way. If, if I put my logo on a quartering video, if I took a clip of a quartering video and put my logo and had him made it look like he was wearing a shirt of my, my YouTube channel and promoting my YouTube channel, do you think he'd be okay with that? Okay, hang on a second. I got just give me just one second. Um, clown nose, clown nose, clown nose, clown nose. Uh, let me see. I can find one right there. Oh, that one's on Max. That doesn't count. Um, here I we go. Go with the clown nose. Here we go. You could say the same thing about Max's thumbnails, dude. No, Max's thumbnails are not promoting Max's brand of a uh, coffee. Max's thumbnails are promoting the his brand of that's talking commentary. about that actual person in their commentary. Well, I mean, you could argue that's his brand of YouTube commentary, would it not be? That's like the brand of MME. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Star Trek. <laughs> I actually did have that. I forgot to have. I actually must have closed it by accident. Uh, get a sneak peek. And I, so I do want to. I do want to watch. Uh, are you a Star Trek fan, Tony? No, I'm not. Well, I watched uh, Next Generation. And I, I, be, I, be, I haven't, I haven't watched since the garbage J.J. Abrams movies. Oh my! Well, well the first one, this last season got a ten out of ten from a lot of reviewers, and I, I want to go back and watch. Well, it, okay, if, if you haven't watched in a long time, can you start? Straight you can up? start with Stranger World. I heard, yeah. And let's Stranger be Worlds is a good show, man. Let's really be real. Is. Star Trek is the most prolific right now with content. Well, they're doing good. Except for the movies. Of, I heard they're doing They good are doing so many projects. I love it. I love it because it's still niche. Have they ever had this many how many wheels going at the same time? This no. many shows? No. No. I mean, no. they've had a lot of irons in the fire back in the 90s, but like. Uh, Not like this. Okay. Well, here's a sneak peek at. I don't know if there's any spoilers in here. It's Star Trek Strange New World set season. They're already filming season two. Like, yes, it's great. Yes. Uh, uh oh, Will Wheaton. Watch this. Oh my God. That, that's a little, Swanky yeah, New a Bar. Watch I hate Will Wheaton. I don't know. What's what's your thoughts on Will Wheaton? Well, well 14 does better than the book. Uh, well, um, when he does, the, when he hosts the post shows for Star Trek, it's, it's, um, it's pretty bad. Oh really? Yeah, I never watched any of it. Well, I, mean, I like the... I liked them in Big Bang Theory, but people don't even like Big Bang Theory. They have they feel like that was nerd appropriation. Oh, Big Bang Theory, <laughs> god awful, it's a horrible see, show, see? so Yo, bad. Wait, wait, Literally, every thought? time I see it on TV, it makes you cringe. Wait, wait what, Big people, Bang Theory? I, Big oh, it's Theory's horrible. Like oh, it's horrible. But the, people, it's people got so mad. Bad. Who, who was telling me a story where one I, of the I voice did. actors? Was that a con or something? They asked oh, that's my Jarbo story. That's my Jarbo story. Yeah, yeah. That's Jarbo. Oh, that's Jarbo. Jarbo. Where he was it, at San Diego, they were like Big Bang Theories at San Diego. What Comic the hell is Mark Jarbo? I don't know. I don't Jarbo, know. Jarbo. He has a life. Yeah. Not really. What? I don't know why he's not here. Oh, no, that's he's not delivering. Oh, yeah. doing things. He's making money. He's making yeah. money no, but, like us. So that that was so that was the. Yeah, I'm making. I, I, anyone wants a 99 super chat? My way of making make, it, make <laughs> this make this whole stream worth it. Otherwise, yeah. it's just AdSense. Yeah, well, members, I, members, you I know help. I appreciate you, VIP members. Uh, but but was the story RJ that uh, someone asked basically, the question? Basically, like, I don't basically, Ateneo yeah, Comic Con. Um, because it a nerd they went full went Harrison up, Ford on the yeah. The a nerd people. went up there and asked a question about one of the things that was on the show. They asked him, do you think, um, who was it? Do you think, uh, Woo, Anthony? Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, super chat. Woo. <laughs> so they, back. so the guy went up there during Whoa. the Big Bang Theory Whoa. panel and asked, uh, mm. the, the cast and crew, do you think Magneto could lift up Thor's hammer? Yes. And, he can. and the yeah, only per, and the only person who even tried to answer or talk honestly was Kaylee Cuoco. The rest of them said, we don't give a shit. Just leave us alone. Basically, that's about right. The kid, that's about right. That's what they get ruining geek culture. Thank you, a holes. Oh, you're like that too, Brian, about Big Bang. Well, well that's kind, of, that's kind theory. of a that's kind of a dick thing. It's like your whole show is about like Star Trek ass- fans too. No, they're the not. No, they no in, the show, in the show. Yeah, they are, but they're fucking posers, dude. I'm good. Oh, oh, posers, that's fire. Gatekeeper. Brian's a no, of honestly, <laughs> honestly, uh, the Big Bang Theory is one of the most offensive TV shows I've ever oh seen. It, it, what? It, it, 
<laughs> it honestly is. It 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 why, why? so I demand, there's so I there's like so the... much sexism in that show, so much racism and racial stereotypes. It's a despicable oh, show. It is true. It is Got true. it. I'm gonna I wanted, I wanted I to, to I I must have missed that, that episode. What episode is that one, RJ? I want to all of them. I want to. I want to debate stream. On exactly. Big Bang, Bang Theory. Theory was blackface for nerds. Absolutely. I love oh it. my god! It's fucking <laughs> awesome. It is. What yeah, happened? Just, I, I have a laugh. Big Bang Theory He's cup right. that I'm drinking out of. Right That's now. nice. Whoa, god dang it, man! Big it? Bang Theory was just for forty-year-old white aunts who wanted to feel like they were part of nerd Ew. culture when it was blowing up, so they could talk to their grandkids. I enjoyed it. I like it too. Me and Max are on the same page. Sexism and stuff back in the day. They all. Oh my gosh! I have the. The show was like five years old. (laughs) He's got you there. Cancel RJ. No, I I I want this as a big topic. This is hilarious. Nerd face. Oh, uh, Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory is also, guilty of nerd also, face. One of it's also guilt, guilty of not. It's guilty of not being funny. It's just not funny. Well, I never finished Damn. every, every, every single Relax, time I catch I a rerun finish. on TV because it plays before AEW. It's not funny. What about Sheldon? I don't laugh. Well, I just cringe. Respect, it's not I, funny. Sheldon is a, a national RJ's treasure. Right. They even RJ made a young right. Shelton show. Yeah, and I wish that uh, I don't even know why that show exists either. <laughs> I didn't even watch it. Nerd face. Get I didn't even watch it. Did you know about Nerd Face? I had no idea. I find the show funny. I, I relate to some of the characters. I, I think the man, are funny. It's pissing me off. Where in the hell is, is it? Is it about? funny then? Talk about TD humor. No, I'm playing. Listen, yeah. I do. I even though I like the show, I do think it was lame that they were like that towards their fans. I could, you know, I think that's lame. Do you? What do you think, Tony? When when your fans are all into your character and you're just like totally blow them off. And yeah, like, kind of lame. Yeah, but the only people the like Harrison person, Ford, the, the only Harrison, ever... Harrison Ford, like I don't give like who shot. They asked the Han. They asked Harrison Ford, did Han shoot first? He's like, I don't give an f. Yeah, the he only, shot the only run. person from the Big Bang Theory who actually cared was freaking Kaylee Cuoco. The other the guys all suck. The guys are dickheads. Well, they, yeah, they, they cool. only care about the, la- the, the lady. The ladies on the show are nice, but the guys are dickheads. So. Well, they fucked them. Fuck them. Whoa, crazy! Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, they don't. They yeah, only yeah. care about the money. They care about the money. That's all they care about. Those for the last what? How many years that show been? Like, doing like eleven years, twelve years. Yeah, they're gonna. They're gonna make. Well, money oh, all right. Sorry. Let's get back to Star Trek. I'm sorry. I ruined Brian's article with. Big oh, it's, I'm used to it, Max. It's okay. Don't worry. Well, there's not much. Of a, there's not much of an article. It's just a video. This enterprise is weirdly familiar to me. Oh, you can find out how cringy it is. It there you go. Like there is a there is an emotional music and in the physical background. sense is memory gonna... of my enterprise. Probably, probably. It'll probably God damn it. It. Here. Sorry. Well, go it's watch the, go, go watch the video on every, your free time, everybody. Then you can see the enterprise set. They're adding a bar. They said they're going to. I actually don't mind Will Wheaton either. Yeah, he's a little cringy, but he's all right. I mean, he's a, he's a, he is a nerd. And trust me, I know he's cringe. super. He's super political. Well, I know that. Yeah, I know. He got off get... Twitter. He's not on Twitter. He, he's anymore. terrible, Max. He used to have a board game show on YouTube, and, and apparently, he would just he used like, to be on G four with Tommy Tallarico. They, they said he didn't even Teleriso. know how to play the fucking yeah Teleriso. He didn't even know how to play the board games, and then I guess when he got called out, he threw a producer under the bus. Which was, oh, no, no, it's not my fault. It's the other guy's fault. He used to uh, he used to have a show called Versus, I think. I like that show. I like well, all the is a fake, he, he declared himself king of the nerds, and somehow y- y'all let him do it. I God darn it. I just want a picture of the freaking boat crashing into the dark planet. Oh, I saw this trailer. This game looks really cool, actually. I'm kind of interested. Yeah, I'm in interested in this new Robocop trailer. Yeah, it's a first person Robocop. Uh, game appar- apparently, this back. is going to be on. They said it's going to be on the Switch, right? No, it's on PC and PS5 only, I think. Oh, oh wow. So, yes, I didn't know I this. Like I miss, must have missed this. Four years ago today, I want Neil Ballcamp to come. Neil Blomkamp would be directing a film called Robocop Returns, a direct sequel to the original Robocop. Yeah, it's probably never happening. Man, Blomkamp has had a lot of stories like that. Blomkamp dropped out over a scheduling conflict and was replaced by Little Monsters director Abe Forsyth, and we're still waiting to see whether or not Robocop Returns. That's never happening. I really like the Robocop reboot. 
I well, really that, like it. Max, but you could ask Amazon because they own it. Amazon owns Robocop? Yeah, Amazon actually, yeah. I think, owns Robocop now because of the MGM cool. Maybe acquisition. they'll actually do something with that. I don't know. If you well, want to see the press release for this uh, Robocop game, I can show it to you, Max. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, Robocop uh, returns. Uh, uh, in the meantime, we have another Robocop project. No! I actually was... Not Tayon. Tayon made that no. horrible Rambo the video game. That really yeah, horrible you know that? They, they've been this this has like been in development for years. I oh, actually no. played on my oh, my modded Xbox today. So I played the arcade game Robocop one and two on my modded Xbox. Tayon Tayon did the Rambo game that was pretty shitty. That was horrible. One of the worst games ever made. No, it's not that bad. I play. I reviewed the Rambo game like two months ago. No, it's bad, dude. I played it. It's horrible. It's, it's horrible. not that bad. I played oh, no, it I never two played months it. ago. Watch the video. Go to my channel. I'll watch. Well, you could bring it up. Bring up your no video. Rambo. The video game is horrible. Do you have gameplay on it, Tony? Yeah. Why? Why what is Tayon getting all these licenses? Because I, I would else. like to play a good Rambo game too. No, dude, don't waste your money. It's bad. It's, it's really an bad. on rail shooter. That's the problem that most people. Oh, have. I like that. No, it's not. That's on rails. Is it like a the light graf- gun? The graphics are horrible. The oh. sound, the sound effects are horrible. Like it's just a bad. If it's like a mess. light gun game, I would love that. It is yeah, like a play game. With the, play, the PlayStation Move. Well, if what's your added. thoughts on this Brian a Robocop game? Peter Weller's back, or would you oh, be more interested cool. in the Yolgon Long Camp movie? Oh man, I don't know. I kind of checked out the last one. Robocop movie was okay, I guess, but I don't know. I love what, that. Which movie. one? The third one? The third one? The blue? No, no the one with the... fucking uh, what's his face, Joe Kinner. In. Oh the yeah, Kinner? I love that one. I love that one. I wish you got know, a that sequel. Movie, that movie was doo The third one was just hot trash. I was good. I got to rewatch one. the Robocop. Yeah. What about movies? the Predator game? Have you ever, have you ever played the Predator game? Yeah, I I have all that on my modded Xbox. I actually. Uh, I, you know, now that I'm not spent, I'm spending money. I went back to my old stuff, my mod Xbox that I've had for a while. You mean Shepard? No, it's a good. It, it's a it's a green Halo original Xbox it's a modded, modded box. with some lights. Although the person that modded it <laughs> that I bought it off of also had lights modded for the controller ports, and the controller stopped working. So How I much did you pay? I had to pay him to send it back and fix it and send it back to me. So the 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 mod the the lights for the control ports work? are now just on the side, so lighting up the side. Yes, it works now, but the control ports stopped working. Some of those mods. So it has every thing. modded game ever. No, it has a lot of old school arcade. It has Neo Geo. Ooh, it nice. has Game Boy Advance games. Neo Geo Ooh. Pocket. Sounds uh, illegal. Uh, all legal. I own them all. That should be illegal. RJ left. Oh, we lost RJ, huh? All right. Well, he, here's the thing. I I owned a lot of them. I still own a lot of them. And then a lot of the stuff you cannot buy legally. Like a lot, like, no, the, Predator, I'm... like the Predator, or, pre, you know, Alien versus Predator arcade game, you can't buy legally. I would definitely you can, buy them. Yeah, I mean. A lot of these I'll licensed put... properties, you will never be able to buy them. Hell no, you can't. I mean, for this Robocop game, I'll buy it. Like, I hope it's like one of one dollars. of the best beat 'em ups of all time. Tony, you, you need, do you ever play the Punisher beat 'em up? Yeah. Or, or alien, you cannot buy those legally. I would totally buy them legally. But if you can't buy them legally, I'm not. I'm not owned. I'm not owed a game, so I'm not entitled to it. So I don't get it. Uh, what about game preservation? But you're not preserving it. That's not what you're, you're doing it for. You're doing it to play. They have uh, a whole. I, uh, not a museum, I, I, not like the uh, the metal I, 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 but they got I agree. Been for game preservation I, over. I agree Sweden. with you, Tony, and I, I, I don't like piracy, but ultimately I want to play these games. So that's what it comes down to me. I want to play these games. If there was a legal way to, I, I bought, I still have X Men and Simpsons Arcade on my PS3 that I bought legally. What about? Uh, I even bought TMNT Reshelled legally. I have all that stuff legally. You know, what can I do? It's not perfect world. I would totally buy it legally if they if they if they came out to the Xbox store now and said you could buy Cap Capcom classics with all these or X you know all, all these beat 'em ups and shooters that were licensed properties. I would totally buy them. Let, let me let me uh, suppose you this, Max. Oh, suppose okay. Let, let, let's say that there was a one of a kind. 
life size Natalie Portman Mighty Thor statue, right? And you said, hey, I would buy that legally if they, they sold it to me. And they said, we're not selling this to you, Max. Does that mean you have the right to go in there and steal it? Oh, my God. Damn you. Dude, I swear to God, Tony, I, I, I appreciate what you're trying to do, man. You sound like one of them fucking PSAs that came on before movies. You wouldn't steal a, 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 a freaking sweater. You wouldn't do that, dude. I, but it's consistency. I, it's it's, oh, I, I it's on my know, show all the like, time too. People give me shit all the time on my on my streams, Ryan, because I say yeah. the exact same thing. I don't I don't pirate. I don't. No, that that's great. I don't man. promote piracy. I'm not going to be bad at you if you do it. But I'm just saying, in my opinion, it's stealing. I was raised not to steal, and so I'm not going to steal. So I, 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 here's the best I could do. I don't like piracy either. I guess I pick and choose in certain scenarios. If I can't buy it, I would like to play it or listen to it. Like if there's a if there's a song that one of my favorite artists and I can't buy it on CD or album, I would still get the MP3 or a live track version or like I'm just saying, 2002 I, would beg to differ, my friend. <laughs> no, no, but I'm saying if I had a legal way to buy it, I would buy it though. Oh, I know, I know. So, but there but in were 2002, I was when, broke. When, when Napster came out, there was artists like Radiohead. It's one of my favorite bands of all time. I'll be real. I downloaded Kid A and Amnesiac before it was officially released. It got leaked, and I still bought them when they came out. But I used to sit there and hit wait for my song to come on the radio and hit record. Mm -hmm. Okay, so whatever, dude. I, I, I'm a pirate, dude. 13 years old, trying to listen to Green Day. I try not to, though. Is I'm that, a piece is that, of shit. Is that any... I'm a, I'm a try not pirate, Tony. I really try not to. But, uh, I mean, ultimately, if I if I want to play Alien versus Predator, I'm going to play it. <laughs> but I, I respect your decision. But you, you will not play a game if there's not a legal way to play it, even if it's something from your past and there's, there's like, no arcade that has the game. Or you would track down alien ver well here's an example one of my favorite other favorite beat em ups is uh golden axe revenge of death at death adder there was no way for me to tr i played it once in the history legally at an arcade but those arcades don't there's not many arcades near my house so I, I have it i have it on emulator but then i i bought it on one of those um Sega Astro mini arcades, you know those, Tony? So I can own yeah. it legally, even though I already had it because I wanted to own it legally. I mean, you oh, well. still pirated it. You still stole it at the beginning. Well, now I own it legally on my mod Xbox because I have the... You, you're allowed to have a digital backup copy if you own it. I own it now on the official Sega um, release. Yes, but... but uh, the thing is, since you pirated it before you owned it legally, the oh, pirated version is still illegal. <laughs> you uh, can't okay. steal. You can't steal from the store and then like go. I mean, I get it. We're, we're just right? we're justifying a form of theft here. Oh my god! Yeah, man. that's basically what it is. All right. Again, well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna turn you in. I'm not calling the FBI. Well, does it doesn't make. Stuff. Yeah, you're right. Uh, and I want to move on. I don't want to admit all this stuff online. <laughs> I'm right? Too much longer. But, <laughs> Uh, I, I've, just so you know, man. I've gone into debt buying things legally as well. Just so that doesn't justify anything any either. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> uh, I like to support the industry. I do like to support. Oh my god. Okay, so Robocop. Uh, I want a new. I want a new movie. Uh, I wish Neil Blomkamp a lot of the stuff that he was thinking about. Um, this I'm is kind of over the top. This is kind of interesting, and then we'll uh, we'll 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 end soon. We'll wrap as it well. up. Do rapid fire topics here, and go go sub to Tony. Uh, no, he, I mean he's consistent, that dude Vince. He's consistent. He is also a, a good supporter of MME. He's a sort of power member, and he's appreciated here. He provides a different opinion. His opinion doesn't hurt you. I mean. Honestly, his opinion goes with the laws, really. So, <laughs> no, I get it. I, I'm a wet blanket. Know. It's okay. Uh, but here, this was really cool. Uh, this this almost makes me want to buy it, a, a collectible again. Uh, 
I like that Knight Rider Playmobil. Isn't it awesome? Max, he's like, he's compensating, overcompensating. Now. Yeah, I totally buy this. Uh. <laughs> no, this, I, if I was still collecting stuff, I would get this. This is cool. I would also like a Back to the Future one um, in that style. I kind of like that over Legos a little bit. No one else think that. That was just a quick article. Uh, the other thing I wanted to see, this is not cape shit, is I oh. want to look look at this uh, Sylvester Stallone project, Samaritan, release date, hits the Prime video. I hope it's included in my Prime subscription. A subscription i want i want to see this uh sylvester stallone new uh oh it is a superhero movie <laughs> i thought it was about a good samaritan <laughs> sorry it Ooh. is actually it is actually a superhero project i thought it was just like a good samaritan helping people and and you know i guess that is hero uh superhero okay all right let's read about it <laughs> A uh, new superhero movie, Samaritan, will be released on Amazon Prime Video on August 26, 2022. In Samaritan, a young man learns that a superhero who went missing 20 years ago lived next, lives next to him in Granite City. The film's director, Julius Avery, says the film would be ground affair about a kid looting for a father figure in Stallone's character. The Samaritan release date will be music to the ears looking forward to this heartfelt action flick. That's what I was looking forward to, an action flick. Not necessarily just a superhero. Um, the still, yeah, the Stallone still got it. Thor: Love and Thunder. Okay. Oh, okay. The, the yeah. Stallone still got it for you, Brian and uh, Tony. Depends. He's hit or miss. Did you yeah. like the last Rambo movie? Did you see that? I didn't see no. that one. No. But I watched I the last that. Rocky movie. He wasn't too bad in that. Yeah. Or um, uh, Creed. He was pretty yeah. good in the Expendables. I haven't seen the other Expendables movies. I got to watch the, the last couple. I love action films that also have a heart. I wanted to be involved with Samaritan because the story has many layers and I think people can relate to it. It's something of a morality tale. It's also very exciting to watch. We're thrilled that this will be seen globally. On Is it included with Prime or just on Prime Video? That's what I want to know. I, I hope it's included. All right. So that was that article. Um, oh, we actually already talked about this. Poor working environment, VFX. Uh, so I'll close that out. Uh, oh, here's another one that's not superhero. That I, I was looking for stuff. Um, day shift. Anyone looking forward to day shift? This is from... I actually don't cover Bloody Disgusting much, but uh, BloodyDisgusting.com. Day Shift trailer. Jamie Foxx and Snoop Dogg are the ultimate vampire hunting duo. August 12th on Netflix. First I'm hearing of it. Um, yeah, I like that they say it's got kind of like a... You like Zombieland? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Ian, I, 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 will, will I, would like, I would just like to say C... See to Brian because I do other topics and I'm like, what do you think of this? And you're like, oh, yeah, uh -huh. it's great. No, it's okay, <laughs> honestly. But you're also asking me at the end, the end of the stream where a lot of the gas has already ran out of the system. You're you're em on empty. Okay, um, sorry. My, you know, my back is a little sore. All moment. right, well, we're you gonna ensue. But I was really hyped about this. No, uh, it's, it's really good. See, okay, guys. Okay, I'm a creature of habit, and I tend to watch just similar things. Okay, like. I would rather sit back instead of watching a new TV show or a movie or something. I'd rather watch reruns of Deep Space Nine. Okay, like okay, I, I'm amazingly well, weird. If this is on Netflix, or does this pique your interest? Like you would probably watch this on your Netflix subscription. I have Netflix on my computer, not on my TV. So like, what for me watching Netflix? It just kind of has to be something that I'm into. The last thing I watched on Netflix was uh, the Masters of the Universe Revelation. And that's just because I'm a big Kevin Smith fan, and I also am a huge He-Man. Well, was a huge He-Man fan when I was a kid. Mm. So, like it, like I said, it just kind of depends. Like, certain shows, like Stranger Things and stuff like that, I'm not going to watch on principle now. Like, people just beat me over the head with that one, and I'm just like, nah, I'm not going to watch that shit. Sorry. <laughs> not for Tony, me. Tony, any interest in this? Do you have a Netflix subscription? Yeah, I got Netflix. Yeah. Would you would this if this popped in your feed? Would you be like, yeah, I'll watch that? Yeah, it might be something I'll watch. I watch stupid movies on Netflix all the time. 
Yeah. Uh, check out. I know me and my wife would probably watch something like this together. Uh, vampires, zombies, that kind of thing. Uh, check out the full official day shift trailer for Netflix Blow, which is loaded with bloody vampire slaying action. <laughs> this one looks like a blasting zombie land, but with vampires. Yes. The day shift trailer also smartly marked the film as being from the guys who, dot, who taught John Wick how to kick ass. So we've got all the makings for blood sucking summer fun here. Is does it actually have some of the talent behind the um, John Wick franchise, like the action? Because I, I love I love when they get involved with a movie with those the you know I forget the guy's name, um, Chad Stahelski and his team when they get behind action movies, it it ups the ante for action for me. Um, but what, what before we go on the next, what's your thoughts on uh, Snoop Dogg and Jamie Foxx duo? Do you like you like fans of Jamie Foxx and Snoop Dogg? Um, yes and no. Uh, oh. Am I a fan of Snoop Dogg's music? Yes. Uh, his acting? No, not really. <laughs> um, am I a fan of Jamie Foxx's comedy work? Oh, yeah, what about absolutely. that outfit that Snoop's wearing? That's kind of hot. That's kind of fire. I like yeah. this. You were going to say it's kind of hot, Max. It's okay. Express yourself. Yeah, it's kind of hot. Yeah. Um, I'm, yeah I'm Snoop, Snoop's not a good actor. Jamie no, Fox. that's true. That's true. But maybe he could bounce off Jamie Foxx with the comedy action part, you know. Yeah. If Jamie well, Foxx Anthony, carries it's not it, that, it like, good. they keep talking about it. It's just that I've been directly, like, badgered about the show. I mean, other than that, yeah, I know. It's like, what, what show? Way. Oh, Stranger Things. And it was the same thing with the boys, but I gave that a shot. And it's also another reason. It's like, you know, I don't know if I'd necessarily trust people's opinions on, on shows, Max. <clears throat> I have really good uh, Ta taste when it comes to shows. Taste. I have excellent taste. You know what I've been watching lately? Uh, a bunch of these uh, documentaries on YouTube about um, the Apollo program. Mm, like, cool. There's a lot of parallels to like what was going on in the late 60s and to what's going on now like culturally and like honestly dude i wish we had a, a decent space program i know I, I get it trust me it's like a total what happened waste of money space force and, and funds well just come on now whatever i mean i'm talking about like like well then you know space i is it done no i don't know whatever it's i haven't heard anything biden put it, could have put a kibosh on that i'm pretty oh, sure really not it, space yeah. force that actually oh, sounded on, cool man. I did, but like, come on, it, it was laughable. How is it laughable? It's, it's, if you got to think about it, and it's not going to be like people out in space firing guns, but you're going to need uh, U.S. military personnel that's going to be able to. Well, fix what will we, what will we, what will we prefer? Know. What will we prefer? The government going. This is my. Space this is or, my suggestion. Or uh, Amazon in. Um, What's his name that wanted to buy? I mean, Twitter? they're Elon all Musk? there. Elon Musk yeah. with uh, SpaceX. No, the thing is, is I mean, what's dude, better? That's the moon. Question. Okay, first off, we haven't been to the moon since the you know the seventies. There's nothing on it. Well, there is stuff on it. It's just getting yeah, there and getting stuff off. We of need it. to build a moon base. That's why no, I like. That's uh, what I'm mankind. talking about. That's what I'm talking for about. All mankind on Apple Plus is a great series that I'm into right now. Well, we Some can't kind build of a, a moon, moon base, base because the moon isn't owned by any country. Well, I didn't get to that part. Uh, well, basically, what all for all mankind is, Tony, is the space race where the Russians get there first. So instead of just landing on the moon and having that moment, they just continue and they continue to try to go further. And it's just, it's very See, interesting. I, I it also Mars. has Joel like Mars. Like, why not? You know, and very the best way to get there would be history. to. You know, it'd be easier to escape the moon's gravity than it would be Earth's gravity with a spaceship capable of getting to Mars. So it's like, no, it makes a lot of logical sense to start a base on Mars or on the moon to get to Avatar, Mars. Avatar and the question the is, future. we shouldn't you, really you be branching why? out anywhere. <laughs> why not? It's about exploration. I mean, just think of all the stuff you could learn, you know, from our planet from outside of it, you know? And I know that sounds kind of weird, but like... No, it doesn't. You know, you could learn a lot about what's in our own oceans if we were to actually explore our own solar system, because there are moons in 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 our solar system that have water. 
So it's like, no, nah, dude, we need to we need to go explore that shit. I think it'd be amazing. Look at James Cameron. James Cameron's an, an ocean explorer, and he's trying to protect the Earth with the Avatar movies. He's trying to inspire children of this world to protect oh, what's it's here, like, like Star Trek. I mean, that's like, how important Avatar is. We gotta let's save get the out whales. there and explore. You know, like yes, the whales too. But no, I'm just saying, like, let's get out there and explore. Like, why the hell not? You know, God dang. Yeah, James Cameron has explored some deep depths. I mean, it's like we went to the moon and just stopped. It's like we should we should have went beyond that. Like we should have been to Mars already. We should have already like set up a base. It should have been like freaking setting uh, up a base isn't isn't, isn't as easy as well. I, I understand but. that, but I'm just saying, like, if we would have kept pressing instead of just you know falling that's, in. That's why, and I don't want to do this to you because you just got mad at me. But you really need to watch for all mankind. <laughs> I probably will. No, trust yeah, me, because I trust really the people involved with that show. I like, might have to. Ron I might have Ron to give Moore you my is a great writer. In. Yeah, it's really good. It's it just Apple TV is not in the cards at the moment because I'm like trying to downsize that stuff right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'll have to see if you can want, use my stuff. Ooh, but, uh, but no, uh -oh. I'm just like, I think it'll be fun. <laughs> You're right. I, I I let my parents use my logins too. Funny. Disappointed, Max. Disappointed. See, I mean, come on, dude. Whatever. I let people use my login all the time. I'm the one that pays for it, so if I get in trouble, it's on me. So, all right. Either way. Well, well, let's uh, let's watch more of this here. Or watch. What am I saying? What the I hell? Have no idea, Max. You're, you're, no uh, day day shift. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm gonna watch the trailer. Uh, oh, that has the canceled guy's brother in it. The cancel uh, guys? You mean uh, Franco? Yeah, Franco's brother. Oh uh, yeah. Um, Jake, His last name uh, is also Franco, so you could just say that, that. I didn't remember even Franco. It's not. Uh, it's his name. It's not James. It's his. It's his Ooh, look name. at that vampire. Ooh. Day shift. Looks cool. Oh, look at look at him with look at Snoop with the coat and the hat and the minigun. Hell yeah. I, th I think that's going to do really good on Netflix. Dave, Dave Franco. Dave Franco. Oh, Dave Franco, that's right. The uncanceled Franco. Uh, let me see here. Oh, I did have two other things here. Uh, I guess this would be in the spoilers. Um, this is another article here. But th I think RJ was talking about this already. Um. Taika Waititi reveals why major MCU cameos were cut. He basically just said that. And I still didn't see Maverick yet. Uh, so spoiler warning, it's just basically that if it, and if you're never going to see the uh, deleted scene. Uh, okay, so here we go. As for the reactions of Goldblum, Headley, and Dinklage to being cut, Waititi mostly shrugged. If you ask any of those actors who were cut, Jeff Goldblum, Lena Headley, Peter Dinklage, they all understand how it works. They've been in the game long enough, but they that's just the way things I look at things. Uh I don't expect a what TD cut of Thor Love and Thunder anytime soon. Oh, I have to go up or huh, that is some that is some shade throwing oh. kind of threw some shade at Snyder too. <laughs> oh, you like that. Okay. Oh, I was laughing. Director Taika Waititi explained why the appearances didn't make the final release and why they're unlikely to show up in inevitable deleted scenes. At least, if he has anything to say about it, he doesn't want it. Can I'm I, not I, going. Go ahead. I was going to say, can I ask, like, as a legitimate question, why do Zack Snyder fans hate Taika Waititi so much? I don't. No, I'm just saying, like, it is a very, very common, very, people, very common. Just like people. Okay. No, perfect just, example. No, Here we go. I'll, I, I'll, 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 Axel, I'll can answer. you answer it for me, please? Like I would, I really legitimately want to know. So just like some people don't like the dark, morose tone, or like you said, uh, lacking color, like you were making a joke on Thor: well, Love and It takes it let too me, seriously. Let, let, let me answer. So okay, okay it takes itself. So I like that. Some people are like that with the constant jokes and comedy in Marvel and Taika's tone. People don't like that either. It's just different strokes for different folks. People like different things. And they're super. I kind of like a more serious, more taking a little more serious. I do like some levity. I love Keller too. I'm but, just saying it comes across as personal a lot of the time, and it's like, dude, it's, it shouldn't. No, be. Just, same same reason that people don't like Snyder. 
Some people just don't like Taika Waititi. Taika Waititi is more profitable than Snyder right now, though. I will admit that. So far, he's more profitable. So, it's just a... I mean, do you I wasn't. To add to that I wasn't targeting you specifically. You just happened to no. be in the chat, bro. No, I'm I, talking, I, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about Axel. Okay, I wasn't. I'm oh like, yeah, I just don't find him funny as he tries too hard. Okay, some people. You're not the only like, one. I I said something about Snyder fans on Twitter. Okay, everyone said something to me about it. Okay, I just kind of want to know because I've noticed it on these streams. No, like, some some you guys people don't even Snyder fans. Like, no, some people aren't even Slider fans. Like the Taika with TD's humor is take it or leave it. Some people just like if you don't yeah. if you don't yeah, like that say, type a, of humor, a big it could be grading. It could be Snyder fans. I'm just it saying. could be grading. It's like it's like your friend that's kind of funny, but they they cut they constantly do the same thing over and over. It can be annoying. You know, if you don't find it funny, it's annoying. <laughs> I find it funny most of the time. Sometimes it can be grading though, but uh Oh, okay, let's get back to the quote here. Speaking in an interview with, and we're going to end soon. Ty Watiti explained why the appearances didn't make the final reason why they're unlikely to show in the deleted scenes, at least. Okay, I'm not going to give you a moment because this is my way of telling you. Like, people say, I can't wait for deleted scenes with these actors, Watiti said. I don't want people to see the deleted scenes because they're deleted for a reason. They aren't good enough. The scenes were not in the movie, and that's it. Wow. He's pretty adamant. Of, a, any thoughts on Taika's comments there? Dude, it's just because I'm on these streams every night. Oh, hi, that? Andrew. How's it going? It's <laughs> been a while. No, I uh, feel it. I mean, they're deleted scenes for a reason. I, 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 I like all the extra stuff. I mean, Zack Snyder's different because he, he includes all that. Some people are like, it's not in the movie. It's not in my cut. It's not. Just forget about it. What do you think, Tony? I think he's seen all the online um, movements and stuff, and he doesn't want anyone to start demanding that they put these scenes back in. Oh, these are going to make the movie better. Put them back in the movie. Yeah, I would support the Taika cut, yeah, if he wanted it. Maybe he doesn't want them. Maybe he's like, no, I'm just. we're not going to put them. Don't fucking worry about the deleted scenes. He's cutting it off right at the knees. He's like, no Taika cut. That's it. Hmm. And I'm sure that the Jeff Goldblum scene got cut because they want to save that character. They don't Why well, I, I think one of the actors was upset. Lena Headley, I think, was upset. But that's also because she didn't get paid too. Or, or she got paid, but not as much somehow. It's in their contract if they don't. They they probably get paid, but something something happens if it doesn't make the final cut. Probably got paid scale to, yeah. to do the scene and then didn't get paid the extra. Yeah. But I think she was actually vocal about it. I don't have the receipts right now but if i remember correctly um did you like loki oh i loved it okay well here's the last article i had i actually had one about mario kart um uh, man are they taking forever do, do you oh you don't have a switch tony i have a switch oh you do do you play mario kart uh, i played it a couple times i'm not that good at it uh, I really like it, it, but this, the release schedule of these tracks is ridiculous. It's like taking all the hype out of it with the, the length of time between the next set of tracks. Horrible. Um, but they're talking about maybe this month they're releasing the second set. Well, here's new Loki Season 2 set photos tease, more TVA action. TVA. Um, I like it. TVA presence, so that's going to be I think everyone assumed that anyway, but yeah, they're underway. Let me bring this up here. Some better pictures on Twitter. Um, I'm happy they're filming. I want to see Loki. That's one of my wife's favorite shows, too. She loves Loki. Uh, I wish uh, Gore got as much, <laughs> not the treatment Loki has, but on some level, I would love I love the way Lo Loki got a uh, a great arc in every single movie Loki's been in. So, uh, who's, who's oh, the breakout shit. character? Yeah, he's the Fonz. Uh, so that's all I had, and that that's about basically it. Unless we want to talk about Mario Kart, but that's all I got, guys. Brian, Tony, you made it to the end. 
Tortoise. Are you happy? Did you you didn't win any prize though? I'm sorry. Boo. I mean, I could say okay. I, I could explain myself a little bit here. Don't uh, worry about it so much. No, I mean I understand. I've been pretty, very broad in what I've said, you know, and I do <laughs> understand. And I'm not trying to discount what Snyder fans have been through because yeah, you've been you've had a mountain of shit heaped on you for liking something like that, okay? But what I'm just saying is, is like, I've I've been a Star Trek fan. I've been dealing with that shit since the '90s, bro. So like, as sooner or later, you're just gonna have to kind of fucking deal with it. Like, yes, people are gonna make fun of you for what you love. You either put your foot in the ground and 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 do something about it, or you sit back and, and fucking cry about it. You know. And I applaud Forth because he puts his foot down. Okay, I, I like that. It's just like I said, I, it's just something I've noticed. You know. And, and and yeah, it's a bias because of course Marvel and DC don't get along. So of course you're gonna have DC fans poo pooing Marvel and and vice versa. You know, I just I just happen to see like when it comes to tonality in these movies, it, on these streams that I'm on every night, you can go back and, and watch. People who that are Zack Snyder fans tend to be more vocal against Taika Waititi than other directors in in the MCU. I do I I I do also see this as a Snyder fan myself. Some of my friends like to downplay the MCU successes and that just just that goes just like my criticisms of Ripa and the rest. Uh trashing other things to prop up your fandom or your thing and I don't like that. Like I think the MCU has been a, overall a huge success. Way more successful than the DC even though I'm a fan of certain things in the DC. And I, I, I do think it's a tendency for in the Zack Snyder community to kind of bash on Marvel, even when they do right, to, you know, to try to prop well, up Snyder. And and I don't think that, he would do that. Well, and that's the other thing. I don't think Snyder would bash another director to make his movie. No, no. He, he applauded Gunn and he, he also... worked with all these people. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. It's like, these are his people that he works Those with. like peers. He, he can't talk shit about people he works with. Like, come on, man. Like, that's not right. And it's the same shit they did with Star Wars. And that's why I got upset about it in the first place. It's like, and I kept saying this, guys. It's like, you guys are going to turn into the Phantom Menace. It's just, you're the DC version of it. Uh oh. Oh, I forgot. Uh, well, I didn't forget, but there was only two. I, I was debating on whether to share this for tomorrow. Well, I can save it for tomorrow. We, that way, you get some but, more questions. I mean, there's but, not as many people watching now. There's only 45. All right, yeah. Well, I don't know if Will's watching anymore. Will, if you're still watching, you want me to read it now? I'll read it now. Otherwise, we'll wait till tomorrow, and then Tony's there. Um, I was going to talk about video games. <laughs> I do want to talk about video games more, um, Tony, and I, I'll I'll cover that tomorrow too at the beginning of the stream because you're a VIP of MME, and I appreciate it. But that's all I had. Hey. Sword of Power member. Appreciate that. Uh, what? Anything else we want to end on before we hang it up here? Are you working on anything, Tony? Brian? Uh, Brian, you had to start. You had uh, um, 10 forward tonight. Yeah, I did 10 forward. We talked about Star Trek for about 15 minutes. And the rest of it was devoted to talking, having a good talk about Thor. Um, we had a good time. I enjoy... Uh, what did, having... you, what did you do when you saw my thumbnail? The rage? Oh, I I laughed, dude. I was like, okay, I hope I hope you're there to wake up. And then not only that, but I went in the chat. Like, if you go all the way back to the beginning, I wrote in there. I was like, if, if Max is late, come watch Ten Forward. <laughs> Tony, what are you working on, brother? i uh, just making content, making games, uh, videos. I did a small two minute video on uh, pro wrestling. For the NES. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, there was a new series that you started. That I didn't watch it yet, but it intrigued me. Let me see. Uh, it did on. to me, too, Axel. That's why I quit Let watching your man. channel here. All of them. All of them. Any any Snyder fan that like openly hated on Warner Brothers just because it was Warner Brothers and not Snyder, I stopped listening. Because that, that really started to piss me off. Like, seriously. That's fandom menace shit. Yeah. Is it not, Max? Yeah. Well, I, I was trying to give Tony props. I didn't watch it yet, but it was on my to-watch list on your channel. I think it's a cool idea for a series. Uh, is it that bad? 
Well, that's the second episode, actually, Max. Yeah, no, but I I didn't watch either any of the episodes yet. But uh, I, that's a that's a cool series idea. What is this, Arlo? Yeah, um, some guy had made a video about Arlo, and he cut up the video and basically made it seem like Arlo was a drug addict. So uh, I was responding to his stupidity. What's this five zero five dollar meal discount, Latino discount? Latino discount. That's that's me. Going to the store and getting a, a double cheeseburger with gyro meat on it, chili cheese fries, and a drink for five bucks. Man, some of these thumbnails are fire. That's blinded. Blinded does all the fire ones. Whoa, what the hell is, is there on steaks? Sucker punch? Wow. Go down. Um, the, the, uh, there's a new Cobra Kai game coming out. I know you watch that, don't you? Uh, yes, yes. I ha I bought the last game. Oh, that's got good views too. Look at that. Is that just a trailer, or you do a trailer reaction? I didn't even do trailer. the trailer. There's, there's no trailer yet. I just read the press release. Oh, that's that's really good views there. Look at that. Yeah, I was shocked that, that, that many people were interested in. It. Well, there's a huge when Cobra Kai comes back. You got to come on and talk about. It. Did you? Are you up to date on it? Oh yeah, I love that show. Yeah, although. It's not as good as people say, though. Like they, they act like it's the second coming. That it's because it's amazing. not woke, man. It's 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 not woke. No, actually, man. it's pretty woke now. It it got more woke when it went from YouTube to Netflix. It, it shifted a little. And what's this? Secret unmasked. What's this about? You see, we we're talking about it earlier, but what's the angle in this video? Pro wrestling secret unmasked. Well, you you know the boss character in uh, pro wrestling, the great Puma, the no, VWF. Well, he's the VWF champion, and everyone thinks that the VWF is actually the WWF, like it's a parody, but it's not. Mm -hmm. And they think the character is based on Tiger Mask, and he's not. And I just revealed the truth. Oh, okay, that's cool too. Good, awesome content, man. I gotta check it out. I, I'm really interested in this one though. Black Life of Black Tiger. I don't remember that game. It was. It came out in 2017 on PlayStation 4. It's a 2014 mobile game. Oh, I didn't even hear. I've never even heard of it. Um, what's the first episode? Let me see. Rambo. You got to scroll down. Oh, that's that's the one that. Oh, okay, that's the one I want to start with because that's the one that RJ was ranting about, and I I'm interested in a Rambo game. How far how far along is that one? Uh, what? Maybe one more scroll. Well, maybe one more. Damn, it's been a while. Keep going. Huh. Keep going. There it is. Oh, yeah. That's the one I want to see. Oh, that's the PS3 version. Yeah. I think there it is. works with the Move controller. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's why I was actually interested in getting it. But it's, isn't it expensive now? Uh, I got a brand new 60 bucks. 60 bucks. For, that is expensive. Damn it. I can't afford that right now. So maybe you I'll, mind? maybe I'll borrow it <laughs> and send it back to you, <laughs> so I could play it. You'll sell it for how much? Well, I paid sixty dollars, Max. No, uh, you got a PO box, right? I could just send it. No, don't. I wouldn't want you to do that. <laughs> uh, but yes, I do have a PO. But I, I actually, I actually did when I was buying stuff. I did actually look into buying it, and it was expensive. That's what I remember. Because I, I love tracking down motion control games and like uh, light gun games. I love light gun games. That's one of the things that actually that was one of the things I was mad at Tommy even back in the day when I first interviewed him. Like, why don't you put a motion bar on here and get some uh, get some <laughs> light gun games? And he said no. I will tell you this, Max, uh, if you decide you buy the Rambo game, uh, there is DLC that was supposed to be free with the PlayStation 3 version. Mm -hmm. It doesn't come with it. Oh. You can't download it. It doesn't come with it. The Xbox version, no no DLC. If you get it on Steam, you got you to gotta go through a big process, but you can get it on Steam and then get the DLC on Steam. But it's a huge, oh, okay. convoluted process. Wow. All right. Thanks for the heads up. All right. Well, that's all I had for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you, viewers, for staying till the end. Yeah. And we'll s probably see you tomorrow. Probably see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. and that uh, Obi-Wan. I forgot. 
we watched Obi Wan last night. The fan edit, it was really good. Do you have any criticisms of the fan edits, Tony? Um, no, I mean, they're fun. Theft. It's theft. It's not theft. I mean, unless he's selling it. <laughs> well, we watched a lot of it on street online without a Disney Plus subscription. No, that's, so theft. Kinda... that's theft. That would be so. theft. <laughs> but I also theft. own Disney Plus. Copyright material theft. Guys going to jail. <laughs> but it's being hyperbolic. I'll would you that. ever? You, you, would you ever do watch an unauthorized fan edit, Tony? Or is it not your thing? If I owned the movie already, maybe. If I was interested mm-hmm. in the fan edit, but probably not. I mean, there's no. I already saw it the movie. It was really whatever. good, though. It was really good. There was some great cho- right. d- d- things that made it better, in my opinion. Well, you don't own shit. You got a Disney Plus subscription. When your subscription runs out, you can't just go back in and watch stuff. Mm-hmm. It's not an everlasting subscription. Right. right. It's a license. <laughs> yeah, but I understood that when I, when I entered into the agreement. Yeah, it's in that fine print that you got to click yes to. Yeah, read it. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Mm-hmm. You always read the terms of service. Hey, as far as you got, like, like we, like he said himself, Brian, he is consistent with his takes and his uh, stick it to the, the law. And that's cool. I can't, I can't blame him for that. You know, can't. Okay, well, we're ending, Patrick. Well, you know. (laughs) Good night. (laughs) All right. Good night, everyone. Bye. (laughs) Wow.